So, welcome back, all you cats and kittens. Welcome to Horror Hardcore in Minecraft part something. I don't know. The part doesn't matter. Um, we're on World 20, or Attempt 20, uh, with the personal best being 15 days, trying to make it to 100. Um, we'll see how that goes. If the zombies don't kill me, sometimes I just fall off of a high place who knows um but yeah i'll try to survive as long as i can oh i can't sleep through the night and the mob cap is severely increased so yeah uh oh oops one second let's just do boop aha uh -huh. There we go. Perfect. So, oh, world 21. I was, I was wrong. Yes, yes, yes. I think I just created the world and then stopped. We should be standing at wherever the spawn is with a book in hand. We're also going to continue reading. It's because October's over. It doesn't mean we're going to stop the horror stuff. I love horror. Year round. Oh, wow. Day four. Okay. Okay, so we didn't just start this. Oh, I remember this. Okay. Um, okay. Oh yeah, what do, what do I have? What's going on here? Let me refresh. Oh, I have diamonds. Oh, that's right. I think I found that pirate ship. Protection three's not bad. Though, don't want to put it on any of this. What can I make? I can make a pickaxe or an axe. I have the sword. It's got unbreaking and knockback. So that's now my weapon. So I don't need an axe. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a pickaxe. I think that's the way to go. Yeah. Ooh, or I could have boots. Nah. Yeah, diamond pickaxe. Hell yeah. Okay, so then some of this other stuff. I have, ooh, I have a iron one I should use first. I'll save that for other stuff. I don't actually really need to carry a sword like that around. Let's drop that. I can safely drop that. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, I got bundles. Uh, food to cook. Random shit. Obsidian. Huh. If I find a gate, I can complete it. I've never been to the nether with this, with all these mods on. I have no idea what to expect there. Ooh. That should be on the hotbar. I don't need an extra helmet. Oh. 
I guess it doesn't hurt to hold on to. That's cool. Yeah, I can just do that. It's good to have a bucket. I don't really need this kelp, not even for fuel, right? What do I have? Well, I have no fuel. That's okay, I can make a campfire. Once I get some logs. Okay, those pair well together. I should remember that. Ha oh, indeed, sir. Ha oh, indeed. Oh, where's my boat? Didn't I rock up on a boat? Okay. Make myself another boat. I need cows. I need more leather. I need more leather and more I think leather and sticks to make a paraglider, which is something that I should get sooner than later. And I need a backpack. Oh man, I need stuff. Do I have iron? I got a little bit of iron. I need more string, more leather. Alright, and it's raining. And I don't remember which way I came from. Hmm. Guess I'm going over there. Alright, see you losers. There we go. I don't even know what time it is. You know what? I should st oops. <clears throat> I'll stop here and grab some logs so I can make the uh, campfire. Wait, do I not even have... Oh, I must have just started out. Oh, boy. Okay, well... I don't even have a, um... Furnace. Which is probably why I'm carrying that around. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So I can just make some coal then. Oh. Okay. Away from those guys. This way, maybe? And I got pretty lucky with those apples and stuff. What's... Wine. Okay, that's right. Oh. Oh, fuck you, whales. Fuck you. Shit, and I see land that way, too. Oh. Alright, I'll go check that out. Yeah, we got a fleet. Cool. There should be some decent loot on the central ship. And this could be somewhere where I can hole up for a night if I need to. Oh. Take that, I'll take that. Oh, that's right, I don't have that mod on, do I? Shit. <clears throat> okay. Well, I guess there's no real north in, uh, in Minecraft anyway. I could just, uh, assign myself to a bed here and make this the North Pole. And that should point Right, but my re respawn is set. Why isn't the needle... Okay. Well, I don't understand what that's pointing to. Oh! Yes, I will take. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have to cook all that. Uh, actually, you know what? <laughs> That's a good. It's a good-looking spot. You can stay there while I'm while I'm using it. Uh, coal. Start with the raw cod. Let's 
I mean, I can't put it like a funnel on top. Ooh, I got all this I can use too. Actually, I should be using this. Mine. There, use that. <laughs> hey, get out of my way. You almost got hit by an axe suit. Huh, indeed. Oh, yeah, all this stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, and there's a backpack. That's cool. I didn't know you could get that as treasure. Okay. I, oops, I want all this stuff. All this stuff will be mine. Uh, but let's sort out first. Okay. Backpack. Oh, I've never had a backpack like this before. Gold backpack. Look how much room there is. I've never had that. Okay. You can just dump some of that out. There we go. Should really use those for other things. Um, all right, so building resources. Oh. Crafting stuff, crafting stuff. Generally useful. I gotta figure out what to do with that stuff. I don't even know what that's for. Cool. Are we done? Yeah, we're done there. Oh, shit. Cool. And then that's where I bag the food. Sweet. Okay. So food should stay in here. Let's just bag that up. Um, okay, yeah, that's deep storage. I'm not going to be using that forever. That's cool. Back up. Just throw it in there, throw it in there for now, throw it in there for now. I'll check it out later. Extra wood, extra wood. Actually, put that away and I'll use these. I can pack those for now. That's fine, I don't, I don't really have a method to this anymore. Uh, I want to dump that, I don't want to hang on to that. And I think I'm still going to need a regular furnace. Is there... Crafting table? Oh. Oh yeah, more stuff. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Let me take all your stuff. Hold on. Cool. Oh. Okay. There we go. Ooh, bottle of experience. Oh, gunpowder. Oh, we're making a gun. Yeah, we are. that. Okay, let's sort some of that out real quick. 20, wow, 25? I've never had this much iron in a run. I feel like I'm going to die at any second. This this is, feels very unnatural. <clears throat> Alright, uncooked foods. That's an uncooked food. Shit foods. Shit foods could stay in here. Not sure why I took that. I can make a loaf of bread, I guess. Sure, cook the potatoes. Uh, here, let's get a crafting table out. What? How the fuck? We gotta put some light up here, boys. What are you doing? Where's all your light? 
You okay? Is it up? Is it dark up here? No. Ooh. So just down here. Okay. Who's hurting? Is this somebody? A man overboard? Possibly man overboard. Okay. Oops, that's too high up. <clears throat> and take a peek. Oh, okay. No, I just aggroed. Cool, 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 cool. How about on this side? How we doing? No. Okay, everybody's doing fine. Oh, I'll take your pumpkin pies, though. Oh, oh, and your cookies. Give me all your food. Okay. Well, I am not going to be starving. That's for sure. I mean, sure, yeah, I guess I'll pick it up. <laughs> Another bucket? Yes, please. Take coal. And then behind you is another one. And another bucket. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. <clears throat> That's a good food, right? Yeah, pumpkin pie is great food. Pink potatoes, okay. But yeah, it's shit food. Uh, let's go... Um, yeah, we'll put that here, I guess. Oh, oh, I still don't have, still don't have a lot of leather yet, though. I guess since I have the space, I can collect the rotten flesh and just use it for trade. I should use that right away. Thank you. Oh yeah, I forgot to check your... Oh wait, no. I was down there. Different ship. Who dis? Right, let's get some more light. Let's uh, dump some of these buckets out. Um, oh, that's not a good idea, actually. At least not down here. Shit. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Now where I can dump this out right now. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, back, back. Oh, I thought I had three. Oh, I didn't pick up the other ones. That's why. Okay. Put that there. There we go. Paper? Sure. Sure. We... I could use moss and bone meal to get through to create an area or something inside a mountain. I, I rarely dig in, inside, though. It they, they get they will get to you. They sense you at all. What am I what am I wearing? Oh yeah, I'm I'm gonna upgrade the iron in a second. That's fine. Okay. I think I've raided all the barrels. Whoever's down here is now down here. And it's just me. Okay, cool. Sweet. Okay, let's go to the next pile. Drop that off, don't want that. <clears throat> uh, that's for cooking. That can go in there. Sure. Cool. I have lots of high quality food. I got lots of chicken right now too. Nope. I guess that's gonna go pretty fast. 
Let's just burn through this, make sure everything's cooked. I'll take your gold. I might go to the nether after all. Oh, that reminds me. I also have all that. Spots. Just make sure I cook it all. Hell yeah. So three. Oh, that is shit. Okay. That's also shit. So that's good. That's good. I guess chicken's kind of shit too. Alright, let's burn through pumpkin pies first. So like, yeah, pumpkin pies, then, then steaks, and chicken, sure, like that, sure, that works. Oh, and I got room for a pork chop. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right, I was doing stuff, okay. Um, let's get the iron. Oh, uh, do I don't have flint. Shit. I can't make any firearms yet. I can make bullets and that's it. That's too bad. Alright, so armor wise. I want to keep the leather boots on in case I come across powdered snow, but five armor, protection three. I got that other book. I just need to find an anvil, which isn't that hard. So let's do that. Chest plate. Leggings. Yeah, a half a stick better, and that's a full bit better, and then I can hang on to those as backup in case mine break. And then, ooh, I should have an iron axe. Much better. And then those can be my backup, so I'll put one in there and keep one there. I think that makes sense. Keep both of those. Cool. So I don't even need to make a backpack anymore. That's great. Wait, so what does it take to make a patch? Because I definitely want the crafting table patch. Wait, no, I need to make a base patch first. Upgrade patch. Oh, I can make that right now. It looks like it could take three upgrade patches as well. Okay, wait, I need string. String iron, I need a chest and a crafting table. Easy. Chest. Crafting table. That should do it. Where's the upgrade patch? Oh, I need my leather. Okay. 
Okay, so then I got that. Then I can make this. Boom. <clears throat> Voila. Now I can craft from my backpack and I don't need this anymore. Oh, I guess I could have... Well, whatever. So I just have to hit B and then I can always craft. Amazing. Sick. I can do two more. I mean, I don't have any more leather, but I've never been in a position to... What day is it? Are we... Oh, we got through the night, didn't we? I didn't even see day five came. Okay. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Here, let me... Let me help with that. Okay, I'm done with this place, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, we might have a problem uh, after the next night. I'm so sorry. Huh, indeed, my man. Well, there goes the neighborhood. Here, take that. Oh, I should sort out my stuff here. Oh, no. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. I see how that goes. Cool. So, I think I want... That should be my primary. That's the secondary. Save that. Okay, this feels better. And then I got a spot for a uh, boat, which I think I'm going to need to make a new one. Yeah. Let's let's just make a new one. <laughs> cool. Love that. Um oh I never really explored those other boats before. I think I should. Oh my god, it sounds like there's so many. Hi. Fuck off. Okay, you know what? We're, we're fucking off. There's too many. I'm <laughs> like, what is that? Hey, land ho. This is a good sign. It's actually a grassland, which is a great sign. Let's... Let's actually land. Oh, shit. Yeah, they were nearby. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh! Uh, okay, don't hit them into the water. <laughs> oh! Oh boy. I don't know why it always feels so bad when it's a horse and not a cow. I feel nothing for a cow. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's just grab a couple bit more wood. Just to say we did, what is that? Oh, zombie horse. Hi, bud. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I have so <laughs> I have so much leather, I don't need to kill anymore. Uh oh, you know what? I should make that right away though, because that is like super good to have, I think. Um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I need... This just sticks in leather? That's all I needed? Okay. Oh, I didn't quite follow how that went. Shit. Yeah, look at that again. Um... 
Okay, okay, okay. I can remember that. Oh shit. Another one? No, we good? We good? We good? Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Right? And then like that. Sweet. Okay. Now we're rocking. Now we are. Oh, we're doing so good now. Okay. Store some of that. Sure. Keep that on the side. Sure. Oh, and we're running out of daylight. That's fine. That's fine. We're set. We're set. I have a paraglider. Whee! Let's go! Oh, wow. Oh, it would be... Oh! <laughs> it would be dope to actually raid part of that city. What's coming after me? Is it a cow? Okay, I can deal with the cow. I need gravel. That, that's the thing I need right now. I need gravel so I can get some flint. Fuck, it's going to be dark. Fuck, the sounds are going to be nuts. I should probably get away from the city a little bit. Up on this hill? Where's the highest point? Okay. That's gonna be so bad come morning. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have to paraglide over. That's what's gonna have to happen. So you know what? Let's build right here, I think. Oh. Well texture little glitch in the texture. Okay. Go a bit higher. A little bit more. That's good. Yeah, that's plenty. Okay. Got the city just over there. Ooh. Feels like a slight waste here. Let's eat that. Let's just eat that pork chop. I guess that was still kind of a waste, but it freed up a slot. Um, yeah, this is great. This is great. Ooh. Oh, it's going to be super dark. The mob cap is going to be even higher. That's amazing. Cool. I can't. I can't see anything at all. Just a void in just about every direction, except for a little bit of water. That's great. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's do some reading. <clears throat> I was on the wait list and I finally got uh, to be next to borrow the books of blood. Uh, how do I do this? Let's do T, I guess. Shaboom. And we're back. Um, what were we reading? Oh, that's right. We're reading. Let's go back a little here. Pig Blood Blues. It was this former cop who was coming to this detention center for adolescent boys and some shit it's, oh yeah and he found a sow that he found uncomfortably hot uh da -da 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 -da. okay we'll start at the top of 67 I guess oh. that night he went to find Lacey the boy had been removed from the hospital unit and put in a shabby room of his own. He was apparently still being bullied by the other boys in his dormitory, and the alternative... Wait, I feel like we went 
We went through this. Yeah, we read all that. Oh. Let me, let me see. I changed my bookmark so my bookmark will tell me. Because <laughs> I didn't get to this, to the same thing. 66. I said it was on 66. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, I'll just go through it again, because I don't quite remember. <clears throat> Thank goodness for a cough button. Sorry about that. Alright. He was still being bullied. Redman found him sitting on a carpet of old comic books, staring at the wall. The lurid covers of the comics made his face look milkier than ever. The bandage had gone from his nose, and the bruise on the bridges was yellowing. He shook Lacey's hand, and the boy gazed up at him. There was a real turnabout since their last meeting. Lacey was calm, even docile. The handshake ritual Redman had introduced whenever he met boys out of the workshop was weak. Are you well? The boy nodded. Do you like being alone? Yes, sir. You'll have to go back to the dormitory eventually. Lacey shook his head. Well, you can't stay here forever, you know. Oh, I know that, sir. You'll have to go back. Lacey nodded. Some of the logic didn't seem to have got through to the boy. He turned up the corner of a Superman comic and stared at the splash page without scanning it. Listen to me, Lacey. I want you to tell... I want you and I to understand each other. Yeah? Yes, sir. I can't help you if you lie to me, can I? No. Why did you mention Kevin Hennessy's name to me last week? I know that he isn't here any longer. He escaped, didn't he? Lacey stared at the three-color hero on the page. Well, didn't he? He's here, said Lacey, very quietly. The kid was suddenly distraught. It was in his voice and in the way his face folded up on itself. Well, if he escaped, why should he come back? That doesn't really make much sense to me. Does it make much sense to you? Lacey shook his head. There were tears in his nose that muffled his words, but they were very, they were clear enough. He never went away. What? You mean he never escaped? He's very clever, sir. You don't know Kevin. He's clever. He closed the comic and looked up at Redman. In what way, clever? Oh, he planned everything, sir. All of it. You have to be clear. You won't believe me. Then that's the end, because you won't believe me. He hears you. He hears, you know. He's everywhere. He doesn't care about walls. Dead people don't care about nothing like that. Dead. A smaller word than alive, but it took the breath away. He can come and go, said Lacey. Anytime he wants. Are you saying Hennessy is dead? Be careful, Lacey. The boy hesitated. He was aware that he was walking a very tight rope, very close to losing his protector. You promised, he said suddenly, cold as ice. Promise no harm would come to you. It won't. I said that and I meant it. But that doesn't mean you can tell me lies, Lacey. What lies, sir? Well, Hennessy isn't dead. He is, sir. They all know he is. He hanged himself with the pigs. Redman had been lied to many times by experts, and he felt he'd become a good judge of liars. He knew all the telltale signs, but the boy exhibited none of them. He was telling the truth. Redman felt it in his bones. The truth, the whole truth, nothing but. That didn't mean what the boy was saying was true. He was simply telling the truth as he understood it. He believed Hennessy was deceased. That proved nothing. If Hennessy were dead, he is, sir. If he were, how could he be here? The boy looked at Redmond without a trace of guile in his face. You don't believe in ghosts, sir? So transparent a solution, Flummox Redmond. Hennessy was dead, yet Hennessy was here. Hence, Hennessy was a ghost. Don't you, sir? The boy wasn't asking a rhetorical question. He wanted, no, demanded a reasonable answer to his reasonable question. 
No, boy. No, I don't. Izzy seemed ruffled by this conflict of opinion. Oh, well, you'll see. He said simply. You'll see. It was pretty with the, with the change of scene there on page 69. We'll pick that back up in a second. As the light is coming back into the world. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at the mess on the ground there. There's so many. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make it to that rooftop or further, but at least that rooftop. And then actually I might be so high up, I might I could probably reclaim some of my wood here. I don't think I even need to be this high up. I am alerting everybody, but I'm going to alert everybody anyway, so whatever. Yeah, let's go down a little bit. Yeah, that's probably good. Day six. Let's go. Whee! Okay. Oh, boy. I have no idea how many are in there. Oh, man. Oh, well, yeah, there's some right there. Okay. Just block that up. I don't know if this is possible. I shouldn't have been this close. If it's so much time to spawn. Come on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Fuck, there's so many. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Come on. Uh. Maybe I can kill these couple. Yeah, this is doable. Okay, four, four is doable. But no more, okay? Oh man, those are the doors that they ripped off of the nearby buildings, too. Yeah. Did I pick up the stuff? Yeah, I did. Sweet. Oh, they're below me. Oh, geez. Okay, well, you guys can stay down there. I'm looking for treasure that's easy to get to. I can't. Well, that's one. I mean, that's where the spawners would be. Fuck. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh shit. Shit. I don't like that. Oh shit, 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 oh shit. Yeah, they're coming. Eat it. Go, 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 I don't like it over here. I don't like it at all. I am leaving. Goodbye. Oh, shit. Shit. Come on, try to get some momentum there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to go into forested area. Fuck. No! Why didn't I put down a boat? 
What the fuck just happened there? I'm gonna I'm gonna get eat eight. There we go. Holy shit. No. What I basically need to do is find a city in the morning. Like, like not be anywhere near it. Like, have morning have like late morning. Like, like soon as it's light, go off, find it in the early part. Because then it won't, it'll be the, basically the least populated. Okay. I know what kind of building this is. This is fine. Should be safe, too. Yeah, I got people. Yo. What? What? Oh, shit. You got some... You got some... You got some badness? Come on. There we go. I have cleansed your house. Oh, shit. How'd you get out? Whoa. We're just, we're just taking them all out. That's all we're doing. That's what we're doing now. Yo, pick the shit up. Oh, we don't need that. For that. Okay. I'm gonna help you out here, bud. Zombie groans. Why is there still zombie groans? Uh, I don't care about your stuff. Alright. Sounds like it's outside. Yeah, there's nothing here. I'll just take your lanterns. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, okay. Okay, I recognize where I am. Let's go this way. Sure. Hmm, should probably grab some. Oh my god. The fuck is happening here? Oh wow, that's a waterfall. That is all kinds of not okay. I am not fucking with that. Nope. Nope. We go around. Gorge of death. It's pretty that it's got half a lake though in there. That's kind of cool. Oh. Lava, random lava. Random lava. Not the portal. Okay. Can't can't go anywhere too canopied. That's a death cave. No thank you. I should run around with that in my hand at all times. I don't know why I'm not. Things like this. Whee! Oh. Oh. Thought there was a building over here. Oh, fucking killer chickens. Not fucking with you guys. Hmm. I don't want to go into a forest. I am going to have to cut down some trees, though, before it gets dark, because fucking I won't have enough wood to platform. Maybe I can get this tree right here. Keep the boat ready. Come on, 
on, give me that wood, give me that wood. It was great. It was great. It was a great start. I thought it was... I thought it was sunset. I thought it was just about to be sun... <gasps> Gravel! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, we got a problem there. My inventory is a little, little busy. Okay, let's go. Oops. Uh, raw meat, uncooked meat. Let's just put that aside. Sure. I don't need doors. I'm gonna have to get rid of these doors. Okay. Crap, I don't need either. Okay, okay, okay. But we're doing much better. Come on, give me that sweet, sweet flint. Just one. I just need one. Oh, there it is. Sweet. Alright, what are we doing here? Oh, whoa, whoa! I've never seen it do that before. Give me my boat back. Did I get it? I did. Okay, okay, okay. Out of the water. Out of the water before they come. Okay, if I... Fuck, I gotta go all the way out here. Okay. Yeah. Oh. That's, a, that's the boat I started on. That's funny. Kind of came full circle. Okay, okay. I hear ya. Oh, 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 shit! Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit! Okay. Fuck. One builder? Yeah, I'll get you. I'll get you. Okay. Alright. Nope. Nope. I say no to you. <laughs> Shit. Fucking, I have all the blocks. Fuck you. See? You won't even be able to see me. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, any higher and it's a waste of an axe. Oh, well, while I'm up here, though, here, take this zombie head. Take these doors. Take these slabs. Keep that. Take the wool. <clears throat> This, uh, if I may get a shovel, hold on. Huh, I know I did that. Also, I didn't know it would like. Weird. There we go. Um, so let's do that. Gold is fine. I'll be nice and efficient. Put that in my offhand. I have some light. Let's get a little bit more flint if I can. Oh wait, no, I don't even need more. Okay. Here, I'll just uh, hang on to that as a building block. That's fine. <laughs> just kind of pair up nicely. There we go. Um, so, let's make a gun. So that's going to be stick, stick, uh, flint. Fuck yeah. Woke up this. Oh, I, I have gunpowder, but I have no way to make bullets because I don't have enough. Uh, well, I guess I can make flint bullets if I if I can get some more flint. I need four, so I need three more. This is possible. I would like to start the next day with, with with bullets in my gun. That'd be great.
Okay, we're at three. That's a good sign. <laughs> that was a very short-lived shovel. Oh, well. Oh, I still don't have it. Alright, I'm making another shovel. Uh, this time just out of stone. Come on, one more piece of flint. That's all I need. I think I got it. I got it. Okay. So then we put gunpowder. Aha! Uh -huh. Flint bullets. Cool. Yeah, this is just a mess. I don't care. Is there a way to sort? I can sort. Wait, what? By name, by count, by tags. Uh, okay. I don't know what that means. A count? Funny. How about just by name? Sure. <laughs> That's actually already bugging me, because now I've moved everything around. Whatever. Yeah, that I'm going to have to fix that later. Alright. Uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> cool, so I got bullets for my gun, so... Yes, I can t put that there for now. Just put that all on the top row. Okay. I mean, that's looking pretty good, right? We got lots of food. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Okay. Let's just stay like this. They see me or they don't, but I think I'm too high up for them to do anything about it. Boom. There's the ship started on. Okay. You know, while I have that somewhat paused, I'm going to just take a look in the game folder because I want to double check. Double check if I put a certain mod in that I thought I did, or I think it was a data pack. Saves. 21 data packs. No, I did not. I'm going to add that right now because I really want it for the next, I want to, I'll probably exit and go back in. The whole point, there was a data pack where I basically could have the compass work like a regular compass. Not only would it give me coordinates, which I didn't really care about, but it would give me the direction just easily. And that's all I wanted, so I can actually like go in the same direction all the time instead of just kind of like wandering around in circles because I'm panicked and waterbound sometimes. Alright, um Data packs. Okay. PK better compass. That's the one. Yeah, and that's all I needed. Perfect. So that's in there now. For this world, which won't load it right away. But I'm gonna actually just do that. I think that'll do it, because it's not a mod, it's a data pack. Okay, so go to... Oh, it doesn't work. 
Maybe I have to unload the game. Single player. Right, if I go to the world. Okay. I'm going to quit. And then load it back up. Also, I need a quick bio break. So let's hit. Be right back. And I'll be right back. Okay. Back. 
compass doesn't work. That is so odd. Maybe it'll work in the next world? I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, this is where the programs start to act a little weird. How are we doing on everything here? Okay. So we got some some doodads down there. I don't think they see me from this high up, which is good. I mean, wherever that's pointing, that's basically north. I could just always head that direction. That'd be all right. Okay, let's get down from here. I could probably just reclaim a bunch of this wood. I think it ain't so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't do nothing about it. Actually, let's get... Oh, we got a treasure map too, and it would be local, actually. Let's take a look at that. Oh, we're right nearby. Okay. Okay, sun rises in the east. So, it's that way. North Shore. Okay. You don't have any builders, so I... You know what? Let's just go. I feel feisty. <laughs> Is it just you left now? All the rest stuck in the water? Back in the water you go. Stay in the water. Turn into drown and never come back. <laughs> okay. Oh, I should do that. Let's go. Am I doing this right? Yeah, I'm doing this right. Sweet. Oh yeah, there's that building again. Hope they hope they're doing well. Okay. Basically, it'll be the shore that I hit on the north here. Ooh, I don't even have a shovel. I'll have to make a shovel. Oh, this ship better not be like all the way in that building. Like, the building better not be in the way. It's under the building? <laughs> no. We're not doing that. Not like that. Oh, hello! Hey. Would you be interested in custom designs for my channel? Um, no thank you. I do appreciate the, uh, the pitch, though. Uh, I do a lot of my own custom work. Um, I'm a designer as well, but thank you. Appreciate the follow. I'll check your stuff out. Wizardess Victoria. Uh, yeah, we are not digging up that treasure, so I guess I'm going to go in one direction and hope that there's something in this direction, because... Wait, did the compass change? I hope not. Wait, what? Oh, where is this going to... Is this going to take me back to spawn? I don't... Oh, shoot. I don't actually want to go back to spawn. So I should go... I should, in fact, go the opposite direction of the compass. Because that means I'm going away from... 
whatever that's pointing at. Oh shit. Okay. This ain't this ain't good. I mean it's fine, but it ain't great. Oh, damn it. Uh, let's do some stupid shit. Let's do some stupid shit. Let's let's see if we can get this. Oh no, whale! No, no, thank you, whale. Okay, let's be stupid. Hey, hey, hey! No, no! Don't do that. What? That's the second time. Oh, is it? Oh, I have knockback, don't I? Oh, that's why. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay. Fuck. So it's like somewhere like right here. Okay. Let's uh Let's make a shovel, I guess. Wait, do I have a shovel. What am I doing? Let's put that there. So like No. Hmm. I wonder how, where this is going to generate. Oh, there's a lot of zombies. Are they like straight through or something? Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know what else I expected was going to happen. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, oh, wait. Okay. Back to the adventure at hand, which is going somewhere in this direction forever. Okay, I recognize this area. This is forested. I guess I'm going to have to just, like... Try to go around things as best I can. I have to see if there's another way by water around. Yeah, that's where I escaped from before. I've been this way. Oh boy, birch forest. Well, that's no good. I'm going to have to go this way. Okay, I learned my lesson. There we go. Make sure boat is here. Pickaxe in hand. Let's go. Feel a lot better having the compass now, though. Oh, shit. There we go, yeah. <laughs> Paragli paraglider and compass. Now we're rocking. So just somewhere in this direction, eh? I can do that. Ooh. Is that a jungle temple? No. No. Not interested. That'd be death. Okay. Where are we going? That's a gorge. That oh. Something spotted me. Oh, hey, let's go for that. Whee! The fuck? A toucan. There's nothing here. Ah, I don't... I don't... I, uh, no. <laughs> okay. I'm still kind of going the right way, though. Oh, no, jungle, no. That's going to tank my frame rate. Okay. Climb, climb the hill, climb the hill, calmly. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Just have that on hand anyway. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Up, 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 up. Okay. Pro. Oh, fuck. We're in the, we're in the middle of jungle. 
Oh, maybe not. Okay. Ooh. Take a second to breathe here. Here, let's go up to just to be sure. Okay. I want to go around this jungle, so I'm going to I think I'm going to have to go that way. Oh yeah. I'll meet you on the mountain, sir. Let's go. Oh, there's a bit of lag. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's... My frames are barely 30 right now, I can tell. Okay, I could fall from a great height here, so maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Um, let's go... Oh, oh, keep going. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck this jungle. No, thank you. Also, fuck the city. I am not dealing with the city right now. No, no. It's just they border each other. They border each other. That's no, no, no. Whatever's making that sound, let's go. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Okay. Okay. See ya, suckers. Oh, shit. Uh, not worth it. Okay, bye. Oh, shit. It's getting so dark. It's getting so dark. I got to, I got to tower right here. Shit. I didn't want to. Uh, okay. This is the worst spot to stop. Sh shit. Okay. Let's just carefully go around this side. Okay. Now let's put down some light. Oh, actually, let's get some frames back. I don't need this on max. Okay. Cool. Where's the moon? Oh, I can't see it because it's, it's overcast. Great. Ooh. Okay. Those sounds. Got to not love them. Whew. All right. I should get back into some reading. Day seven. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be day eight. I think in this session, we might be able to break 15 days. Or beat 15 days, rather. I'm going to try to ignore all the millions of zombies that are going to be spawning around me. Okay, so we were at the scene changed, so top page 69. Nice. In the sty at the perimeter of the grounds, the great nameless sow was hungry. She judged the rhythm of the days, and with her progression, her desires grew. She knew that the time for stale slops and a trough was past. Other appetites had taken the place of those piggy pleasures. She had a taste since the first time for food with a certain texture, a certain resonance. It wasn't food she would demand all the time, only when the need came on her. Oh, they're tearing doors down. That's great. Love that. Not a great demand for once in a while to gobble at the hand that fed her. She stood at the gate of her prison, listless with anticipation, waiting and waiting. She snaffled and she snorted, her impatience becoming a dull anger. I'm glad I have ducking on the audio. 
In the adjacent pen, her castrated sons, sensing her distress, became agitated in their turn. They knew her nature, and it was dangerous. She had, after all, eaten two of their brothers living, fresh and wet from her own womb. Then there was the noises through the blue veil of twilight, the soft brushing sound of passage through the nettles accompanied by the mummer of voices. The murmur, murmur. Two boys were approaching the sty, respect and caution in every step. She made them nervous, and understandably so. The tales of her tricks were legion. Well, that's a, that's a good turn of phrase, I like that. Didn't she speak when angered in the possessed voice, bending her fat, porky mouth to talk with a stolen tongue? Wouldn't she stand on her back, trotter sometimes, pink and imperial, and demand that the smallest boys be sent into her shadow to suckle her naked like her pharaoh? And she, wouldn't she beat her vicious heels upon the ground until the food they brought her for her was cut into petite pieces and delivered into her maw between trembling finger and thumb. Wow. All these things she did. And worse. Tonight the boys knew they had not brought what she wanted. It was not the meat she was due that lay on the plate that it carried. Not the sweet white meat that she had asked for in that other voice of hers. The meat she could, if she desired, take by force. Tonight the meal was simply stale bacon filched from the kitchens. The nourishment she really craved, the meat that had been pursued and terrified to engorge the muscle, then bruised like a hammered steak for her delectation. That meat was under special protection. It would take a while to coax it to the slaughter. Meanwhile, they hoped that she would accept their apologies and tears and not devour them in her anger. One of the boys had shut, shat his pants by the time he reached the stay wall, and the sow smelt him. Her voice took on a different timbre, enjoying the piquancy of their fear. Instead of the low snort, there was a higher, hotter note out of her. It said, I know, I know. Come and be judged, I know, I know. She watched them through slates, slats of the gate, her eyes glinting like jewels in the murky night, brighter than the night because living, purer than the night because wanting. The boys knelt at the gate, their heads bowed in supplication, the plate they held lightly covered with a piece of stained muslin. Well, she said, the voice was unmistakable in her in their ears. His voice, out of the mouth of a pig. Oh, that's right, the boy's voice. The elder boy, a black kid with a cleft palate, spoke quietly to the shining eyes, making the best of, her, of his fear. It's not what you wanted. We're sorry. The boy, uncomfortable in the crowded trousers, murmured his apology, too. We'll get him for you, though. We will, really. We'll bring him to you very soon, as soon as we possibly can. Why not tonight? said the pig. Well, he's being protected. A new teacher, Mr. Redman. The sow seemed to know all know it all already. She remembered the confrontation across the wall, the way he stared at her through, though she was a zoological specimen. So that was her enemy, the old man. She'd have him. Oh, yes. The boys heard her promise of revenge and seemed content to have the matter taken out of their hands. Give her the meat, said the black boy. The other one stood up, removing the muslin cloth. The bacon smelled bad, but now, but the sow nevertheless made wet noises of enthusiasm. Maybe she had forgiven them. Go on, quickly. The boy took the first strip of bacon between finger and thumb and proffered it. The sow turned her mouth sideways to keep to up to it and ate, showing her yellowish teeth. It was quickly gone. The second, third, fourth, fifth, the same. The sixth and last piece she took with his fingers, snatched with such elegance and speed the boy could only cry out as her teeth champed through the thin digits and swallowed them. He withdrew his hand from over the sty wall and gapped at this mutilation. 
She had done only a little damage considering. The top of his thumb and half of his index finger had gone. The wounds bled quickly, fully, splashing on, the sh on his shirt and his shoes. She grunted and snorted and seemed satisfied. The boy yelped and ran. Tomorrow, said the sow to the remaining supplicant. Not this old pig meat. It must be white, white and lacy. She thought that was a fine joke. Yes, said the boy. Yes, of course. Without fail, she ordered. Yes. Or I will come for him myself, do you hear me? Yes. I come for him myself. Wherever he's hiding, I will eat him in his bed if I wish. In his sleep, I will eat off his feet, that his legs, that his balls, and his hips. Yes, yes, I want him, said the sow, grinding her trotter to the straw. He's mine. That's a good spot to end, because we got the... We got sunshine. Okay. Oh, boy. We got some boys in the field there. Oh, jeez. Look at that guy. Yo. Okay. Okay. I mean... What? Did you fucking dodge? Just practicing shooting. There we go. A little bit of aim down sights. Oh, but that's death because of that staircase. Okay. Well, I just want to land on it briefly and try to get to the next one. Let's go. I don't think I'm going to make it to the next one like this. Should probably go up a little. Okay. Ooh. I can hear them. I can hear them all. Hate it. Hate it. Oh good, we got some water. Actually, yeah, I could just do that. Whee! Let's go to... Oh god. Why? Why are they everywhere? Okay. Go to about here. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Get past these guys. <clears throat> now, wait a second. Wait one second. Which way was I supposed to be going? I'm, I am, uh, I am a bit lost. Wait a second. I wanted to be going that way. Okay. Well, Hmm. Shit. Ah, I don't know why my shader's messing up now. Oh, cause it's more jungle. Fuck. Okay. 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 Let's, let's go a little fast on that. Let's see if we can get a little better right now. Oh, this is terrible. No, more jungle. I'm doomed. I'm absolutely doomed. Okay. This compass has not worked out. I don't know what, what I'm hearing, where, where that's coming from. Could be that chicken for all I know. Oh, if I see any bamboo, I'm just going around. Uh-oh. Okay, I can do this. I hate it. Let's go. 
Wait, why is my direction... My direction seems to keep changing on this compass and it's driving me a, a little nuts. Because according to this, I'm going, I'm going back the way. Did I? Uh, this was the direction I wanted to go. Did I get turned around? I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know. Let's just let's go this way a little. Let me try to sort this out. Okay. Oh, gotta be careful. Fuck. Why? What? You don't have to. Oh, you know what? I got string. I can make scaffolding. That'd be real handy. I know you can see me, but I think you'd have a hard time getting at me. Okay. Okay. Looks like they're trying. <laughs> you can't. You just can't. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. This is the worst place to do this. Oh yeah, dark forest. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. This is death wherever I land. No! Oh my god. Go! Go! Holy shit. <laughs> Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. What the hell? There is a lot of zombies coming for me. Oh. It's screenshot time. Say cheese, fellas. Okay. Whew. That was... Damn. Just everywhere. Ah. I just keep hearing that sound. And I have... I think I've gone in a circle. I don't know. Don't know where I'm going. No. No. <laughs> I got nowhere to go. <laughs> I'm going to go this way. This doesn't feel right. Oh, that must be magma. They're still coming at me hard. They're everywhere. Oh, come on. Oh, my poor computer. Come on. Catch up and render something. Render it. Let's go. I'll go right here, just for a second. Just like... Catch up with yourself. <laughs> okay. I think I know where I am. This would be hilarious. If the fuck was that? I don't know what that was. I didn't see what the uh, subtitle was. Okay, great, great. I have a feeling that I've been here before. <laughs> There's the starter boat. Is that what it's pointing at? I can't tell. No, it's not. It's 
It's gonna go in this direction. Why not? Oh, is was this here the whole time? Or maybe I got this the first time. Maybe this is where I got all that treasure from. But hey, let's double check. Yep, uh, I've been here. Yep. Okay. Uh, I don't want to be rowing all night. I will die for sure. I need... Going west, I guess. I guess I'm going to have to rely on the sun. As best I can. Because this compass has been a piece of shit. It's not worked at all for me. Land ho. Okay. Okay. This is okay. I don't know if I, I, I must have been here already. Okay. Let's keep an eye on the west there. Oh. I should probably post up somewhere, but I need, I need like a little tiny peninsula beachhead. Come on. I want to get a little further before d darkness falls. It's going to, it's going to hit. It's going to hit. I got to go right here. This is it. Fuck. that shit shit <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> oh jeez out of nowhere okay mm it's gonna be this is this it this is it this is it right here right here right here right here right here fuck the boat oh Okay, I can calm down just a little bit. Oh boy. Really got my heart going there. All right, let's toss that shit. Oops. Did I expend all that wood? Wait, no. Oh, no, 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 I got 36 right here. Up a bit higher. I think that's probably good. I don't think anybody's gonna really see me up here. I'll minimize the amount of mob alert noises I hear. There we go. I should leave these up. I should actually not try not to tear them down when possible. That way I at least mark where I've been. Uh, let's take a little assessment here. First of all, toss that. Second of all, so... Uh, oh, it's just one piece of string in the middle? Really? Oh, that's... A, shit, that's a lot easier than I remember. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? And I immediately ignore what I just said. Okay. Sure. Where'd it go? There we go. A ton of scaffold. Hooray. Oh, that just stays in there? Interesting. It's almost like a little extra storage, too. Uh, alright. This mess of stuff that I have. Uh... I have two flint, eh? Alright, good to know. I'm gonna put some of my resources back on the bottom. 
Where is my iron? Oh, did I use I must have used it all. Yeah. Oh, leather. Okay. Oh, and string. So there's all the basic building blocks that you normally work with. So... Sure, store that, store that. No, not in there, dummy. <sighs> Toss this compass for now. I'm not... Tr I'm going to try not to look at it anymore. Oh. OBS being a little weird. I hope my stream is still going. Yeah, it is. I haven't dropped any frames. Weird. I just watched chat and activity just disappear for a second. Uh, all right. Uh, enough of this. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Ha I shouldn't carry this around. What am I doing? Okay. Let's, uh, yeah, let's read. There we go. Mm. Hennessy, dead, said Leverthal, head still down as she wrote one of her interminable reports. It's another fabrication. One minute, the child says he's in the center. The next, he's dead. The boy can't even get his story straight. It was difficult to argue with the contradictions unless one accepted the idea of ghosts as readily as Lacey. There was no way Redmond was going to try and argue the point with the woman. That part was nonsense. Ghosts were foolishness, just fears made visible. But the possibility of Hennessy's suicide made more sense to Redmond. He pressed on with his argument. So where did Lacey get this story from about Hennessy's death? It's a funny thing to invent. She deigned to look up, her face drawn up into itself like a snail in its shell. Fertile imaginations on are par for the course here. If you heard the tales I've got on tape, the exorcism of some of them, the, yeah, no, exoticism of some of them would blow your head open. Have there been suicides here? In my time? She thought for a moment, pen, no pen poised. Two attempts. Neither, I think, intended to succeed. Cries for help. Was Hennessy one? She allowed herself a little sneer as she shook her head. Hennessy was unstable in a completely different direction. He thought he was going to live forever. That his little that was his little dream. Hennessy, the Nietzschean superman. He had something close to contempt for the common herd. As far as he was concerned, he was a breed apart. As far as far beyond the rest of us, mere mortals as he was beyond that wretched. He knew she was going to say pig, but she stopped just sort, short of the word. Those wretched animals on the farm, she said, looking back down at her report. Ah, Hennessy spent time at the farm. Yeah, more than the, uh, any of the other boy. None of them like farm duties, but it's part of the work, Rhoda. Mucking out isn't a, a very pleasant occupation. I can testify to that. The lie he knew she told made Redmond keep back Lacey's final detail that Hennessy's death had taken place in the pigsty. He shrugged and took an entirely different tack. Is Lacey under any medication? Uh, some sedatives. Are the boys always sedated when they're be when they've been in a fight? Only if they try to make escapes. We haven't even got enough staff to supervise the likes of Lacey. I don't see why you're so concerned. I want him to trust me. I promised him. I don't want him. I don't want to let him down. Frankly, all this sounds suspiciously like special pleading. The boy's one of many. No unique problems, and no particular hope of redemption. Redemption. It was a strange word. 
Rehabilitation, whatever you choose to call it. Look, Redman, I'll be frank. There's a general feeling that you're not really playing ball here. Oh? We all feel, I think this includes the governor, that you should let us about our business the way we used to. Learn the ropes before you start... Interfering? She nodded. It's as, a, it's as good a word as any. You're making enemies. Thank you for the warning. This job's difficult enough without enemies, believe me. She attempted a conciliatory look which Red may ignored. Enemies he could live with. Liars. He couldn't. It's about daylight, so we're going to just call that there. Ooh, day nine. This was a milestone before. The dawn of day nine. I think I, uh, I beefed it off at the top of one of these without a paraglider. Wait, it's rising in the east. Didn't I come from... Where am I going? <laughs> I don't even know where... Which direction I was going anymore. Oh, jeez. Is that just a mess of zombies? Oh my gosh. Wow. That is something. Um. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think I could safely reclaim some of this. I'll leave a stump to mark my passage. I might as well take the, the lion share this back. Oh. Come on, more flint. And... no. Okay. What are you gonna do? Huh? What are y'all gonna do? Jeez. Oh, I don't even have a, a boat anymore because it's... It's down there somewhere. Yep, filled with zombies. Okay, good thing I have this. Whoop. Actually, save that. I should use these first. Oh, I wish I had a bucket of lava. Actually, I should empty out this bucket. I'm going to do that right now. See if they want to swim up. You want to swim up, boys? Are you going to use that to come get me? You could. It's right there. Yeah. Huh? This is really easy. There you go. Almost. Okay. Maybe the cur maybe the current's pushing him away. I don't know. <laughs> Zombie sheep. Okay. We are done with your shit. Let's go. Bye. Still so many. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh. Portal. It's a really dangerous spot, though. I mean, I could I turn the boat around. Oh, yeah. Okay. I go right here and then turn the boat around. It's ready to take off. Oh. 
I've been to this one. This is the first one. I know where I am now. Okay. I can make a portal. I'm making a portal. Let's go. This is so stupid. I got fire charges. Okay, good. That'll, that'll do. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Five left over. Love that. Love that. Fuck yeah. Never done that before. I mean, let's fucking see what this is. Let's go. Um, boy, I could die if I come out of this in the wrong way. Well, let's just do that. Maybe a little on the other side. Cool. Oh boy. Oh boy. I've never done this. Not in this hardcore, the horror hardcore modded shit. Okay. Looks like normal nether to me. Interesting. Okay. Whoa! What the fuck is that? I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Uh, nope, 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 Oh, fuck. I have no idea what that was. I think I've only seen that shit in Castlevania. What, Orca? Leave my boat alone. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Leave me alone. I don't want no trouble. I don't want no trouble. Okay, we're just gonna go. I'm just gonna follow this coast around. Unless it double backs on itself. If it turns too much. Which it's already doing. Am I in a lake? I've been going in a circle this whole time because I've been in a lake. Fuck me. <laughs> Probably. Knowing my luck. Hey, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's a... Not fucking with whales. Nope. Here, let's just use this to get back over there. There we go. Oh, I was right near lava. And I didn't pick up lava. I'm not going back, so I guess I will have to wait for the next opportunity. Oh, I see a building. Kinda lost, whoa, kinda lost track of it. Oh fuck, I know where I am. I've been here before. I know, I, this is from the last time we played this run. And, and I got, I went in circles and I kept finding that particular spot. Fuck, where am I going? No, I'm going to be trapped in ice. This. Okay. Don't you echolocate me. Don't you echolocate me. I'm not doing nothing. I am not. Fuck. Don't pay attention to me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck that boat. Damn it. No, I need a boat. Maybe it took off. Nope, it's still right there. You know what? That was a fine boat. I'm going to leave that boat. We're, we're 
disregarding the existence of that boat and making a new one. Because why not? Um, definitely don't need that. That looks like land. I'll take it. <laughs> Where is that coming from? Who's following me? Oh, you? Yeah, I'll do battle with you. Ugh, I remember that thing. Okay. Yeah, let's go. I should put those closer together on the hot bar. Don't want to use my scaffold in this area, at least not, not just my scaffold. So I have a feeling this is going to be lousy for spawns everywhere. I don't know if I followed this river from this direction. I may have. Let's see how far I can get before. Oh, do I still have the leather boots? Because I might need them. Oh, okay. Oh, we're going to get an Aurora Borealis. Okay. Oh. Oh. Are those roof rooftops? There's a little bit of light there. That might be something. Oh, a builder. Oh, I can take you out early. Let's go. Cool. Five, six, seven. Let's go up. Half of the stack, maybe to like 20 something. That could be a village. It's hard to, t it's hard to say. There's definitely nothing else around, so that's where I'm headed next. Just see, yeah. Let's go, whoop. Let's go all the way up here. And we're fine. Don't need nothing. Eighteen shots. That's fine. Oh. Uh. Could do with some more torches. I feel a little torch bear. Yeah. Oops, what am I doing? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Ooh, yay, we have full moon and an aurora boreal, so I can actually see the, the landscape a bit. Okay, that's a little bit brighter. Now that I'm up this tall, I can see that's clearly part of a village, but that's a f there should be more light. Maybe it's just out of render distance, but it's hard to say. Okay. Take a little quick screenshot and we go like that. Boom.
Come on, macro deck. Why are you gonna be like that? Actually, what part of it is screwing up? Let's see. Yeah, the server says it's fine. Hey, there we go. The governor's room was locked, as it had been for a full week now. Explanations differed as to where he was. Meetings with funding bodies was a favorite reason touted amongst the staff, though the secretary claimed she didn't exactly knew. No. There were seminars at the university he was running, somebody said, to bring some research to bear on the problems of Redmond Centers. Maybe the governor was at one of those. If Redmond wanted, he could maybe leave a message. The governor would get it. Back in the workshop, Lacey was waiting for him. It was almost... 7.15. Classes were well over. What are you doing here? Waiting, sir. What for? You, sir. I want to give you a letter, sir. From me, ma'am. Will you get it to her? You can send it through the usual channels, can't you? Give it to the secretary. She'll forward it. You're allowed two letters a week. Lacey's face fell. They read them, sir. In case you write something that you shouldn't, and if you do, they burn them. And you've written something you shouldn't? He nodded. What? About Kevin. I told her all about Kevin and what happened to him. I'm not sure you have the facts right here about Hennessy. The boy shrugged. It's true, sir. He apparently no longer cared if he convinced Redman or not. It's true. He's there, sir. In her. In who? What are you talking about? Maybe Lacey was speaking, as Leverthal had suggested, simply out of his fear. There had to be a limit to his patience with the boy, and this was just about it. A knock on the door, and a spotty individual called Slape was staring at him through the wi wired glass. Come in. Urgent telephone call for you, sir, in the secretary's office. Redman hated the telephone. Unsavory machine. It never brought good tidings. Urgent. From who? Sleep shrugged and picked at his face. Stay with Lacey, will you? Sleep looked unhappy with the prospect. Here, sir? He asked. Here. Yes, sir. I'm relying on you, so don't let me down. No, sir. Remen turned to Lacey. The bruised look was a wound now, open as he wept. Give me your letter. I'll take it to the office. Lacey had thrust the envelope into his pocket. He retrieved it unwillingly and handed it to Redmond. Say thank you. Thank you, sir. The corridors were empty. It was television time and the nightly worship of the box had begun. They would be glued to the black and white set that dominated the re recreation room, sitting through the pape of cop shows and game shows and wars from the world shows with their jaws open and their minds closed. A hypnotized silence would fall on the assembled company with a, a pro until a promise of violence or a hint of sex. Then the room would erupt in whistles, obscenities and shows of encouragement only to subside again into sullen silence during the dialogue as they waited for another gun, another breast. He could hear gunfire and music even now echoing down the corridor. The office was open, but the secretary wasn't there. Gone home, presumably. The clock in the office said 8.19. Redman amended his watch. The telephone was on the hook. Whoever had called him had tired of waiting, leaving no message. Relieved as he was that the call wasn't urgent enough to keep the caller hanging on, he now felt disappointed to not be speaking to the outside world, like Caruso sailing a sea uh, seeing a sail only to have it sweep by his island. Ridiculous. This, was, this wasn't this was his prison. He could walk out whenever he liked. He would walk out that very night and be Caruso no longer. He contemplated leaving Lacey's letter on the desk, but thought better of it. He promised to protect the boy's interests, and, he would, and that he would do. If necessary, he'd post the letter himself. 
Thinking of nothing in particular, he started back towards the workshop. Vague wisps of unease floated in his system, clogging his responses. Sighs sat in his throat, scowls on his face. This damn place, he said aloud, not meaning the walls and the floor, but the trap they represented. He felt he could die here with his good intentions arrayed around him like flowers, around a stiff, and nobody would know or care or mourn. Idealism was weakness here, compassion and indulgence. Unease was all. Unease and silence. That was what was wrong. Though the television still popped and screamed down the corridor, there was silence accompanying it. No wolf whistles. No cat calls. Okay, I'll probably stop there to get back to the game. All right, let's see if I can make it down to that village. Let's, uh, oh, geez. Okay. I might die if I if I go from too high up, but if they see me, they're gonna follow me there. So it's almost like I should like I should faint and try to go around. There it is. Here they come. All eyes on me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just go. Bring it all here. Bring it all in. Fuck. Oh boy. <laughs> Come on, why am I not getting all of them? Come at me. There you go. You see me. You sense me. Am I making enough noise for you? There you go. Hello, Moose. Oh, that's just chaos. That right there. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna have to go... Oh, you know what? Let's change my boots out real quick. Where are those boots? Wait, am I still wearing the leather boots? That'd be great. I am. Amazing. Okay. So here's the plan. Lure them to this side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we go. And we go. That's fine. That's fine. Cool. And then I just go this way a bit. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Just trying to process all them running zombies. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. I don't know if I can make it to this village. Oh, unless it has maybe uh, warriors. If it has, if it's a true village, it'll have ooh, warriors. Oh wow. Oh, it's a full thing. Cool. I need some help, guys. I might be I might be towing a lot of danger with me. Um not gonna lie, that's a thing. Yeah, let me help with this. We did that. And we do that. Let it <gasps> Damn!
Oh shit. <laughs> Bullshit. I was so worried. I kept on. I was doing all of that so I wouldn't hit anything, and I hit the golem and died. I was so well set up. I had a gun. I had an amazing gold backpack. I had everything. I had diamond stuff. <sighs> wow. What day was that even? This was, was this day nine? Day 10. So I didn't even make it uh, as long as anything. All right, this looks a little broken. Let's just stop that. Wow. I gotta start deleting some of these. But they're probably. Am I filling up my hard drive? <laughs> I should just double check. Yeah, kinda. 200 gigs free on a terabyte. Alright, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm trying to play this to relax, yet yeah, I'm like playing like crazy stuff that like makes me jump and makes me scared and then makes me rage deep down, deep down rage. Let's just double check. So that should work. There's no reason why that wouldn't work. Doesn't matter if it's for an older version of it should still work, though. I don't know. Rare cities. Uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, well, it works on that. Can read a bit more. Ah, uh, do 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 do. Where the fuck? Oh yeah, at the bottom there. No wolf no wolf whistles, no cat calls. Redmond darted back to the vestibule and down the corridor to the recreation room. Smoking was allowed in this section of the building, and the area stank of stale cigarettes. Ahead, the noise of mayhem continued unabated. A woman screamed somebody's name, a man answered and was cut off by a blasted gunfire. Stories half told hung in the air. He reached the room and opened the door. The television spoke to him. Get down! He's got a gun! Another shot. A woman, blonde, big-breasted, took the bullet in her heart and died on the sidewalk beside the man she loved. I'll just go a little bit further here. The tragedy went unwatched. The recreation room was empty. The old armchairs and graffiti-carved stools placed around the television set for an audience who had better entertainment for the evening. Redmond wove between the seats and turned the television off. As the silver-blue fluorescence died and the innocent insistent beat of the music was cut dead he became aware in the gloom in the hush of somebody at the door who is it sleep sir i told you to stay with lacy he had to go sir go he ran off sir i couldn't stop him damn you what do you mean you couldn't stop him redmond started to recross the room catching his foot on a stool it's Scraped on the linoleum, a little protest. Sleep twitched. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I couldn't catch him. I've got a bad foot. Yes, Sleep did limp. <sighs> Which way did he go? Sleep shrugged. Not sure, sir. Well, remember. No need to lose your temper, sir. The serb was slurred. A parody of respect. Redman found his hand itching to hit his this pus-filled adolescent. He was within a couple of feet of the door. Sleep didn't move aside. Out of my way, sleep. Really, sir, there's no way you can help him now. He's gone. I said, out of my way. We're gonna stop there, because the world has recreated. Oh, and... Oops.
Oh, did my thing work or not? Yeah, it did. Okay, world 22. Okay. Interesting. Okay, this is not all bad. There's some buildings nearby. It really depends on how the trees are made. You gotta be really careful getting down. Oh, shouldn't do it like that. There they are. Okay. This is so, so dangerous. Okay, let's try to get these. Damn, that's not the stump. That's not the stump. Oh. Sure I'm not standing on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fuck. Ooh, don't go off. Is it here? I think it's here. Yeah. Oh, double check, double check. What? Are you kidding me? Fuck right off, all of you. Some bullshit. Just two of you. Okay, that is just a pagoda. I thought I saw more than. Yeah, I do see another building there, though. Okay. Yeah, first kills. Let's go. Come on. Okay. No, oh, you to oh, fuck off. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. There's a gate. What is happening? Oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's a pillager. Oh, is this pillager base? This is a pillager base. Well, who's shooting arrows then? Who the fuck are you? Cannibal? Cannibal? No! I hope they're fighting each other. I want to know who wins. Oh, is that it? Okay. Well then. World 23 then. Sometimes you get, you get a good streak. Sometimes you get a bad. Let's go. Three cities. Cool. All right, let's uh, put the book back on. Keep going. Do, 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 do. We're down there. Out of my way, sleep. Really, sir? There's no way you could help him now. He's gone. I said, out of my way. 
As he stepped forward to push Slape aside, there was a click at naval level, and the bastard had a flick knife pressed to Redmond's belly. The point bit the fat of his stomach. There's really no need to go after him, sir. What in God's name are you doing, Slape? We're just playing a game, he said, through teeth gone gray. There's re there's no real harm in it. Best leave well alone. The point of the knife had drawn blood. Warmly, it went it wended its way down into Redmond's groin. Slape was prepared to kill him, no doubt of that. Whatever this game was, Slape was having a little fun all of his own. Killing teacher, it was called. The knife was still being pressed infinitesimously slowly through the wall of Redmond's flesh. The little rivulet of blood had thickened into a stream. Kevin likes to come out and play once in a while, said Slape. Hennessy? Yes, you can. You like to call us by our second names, don't you? That's more manly, isn't it? That means we're not children. That means we're men. Kevin isn't quite a man, though, you see, sir. He never wanted to be a man. In fact, I think he hated the idea. Okay, you go, girl. You know why? The knife div divided muscle now gently. He thought once you were a man, you started to die. And Kevin said, used to say he'd never die. Never die? Never. I want to meet him. Everybody does, sir. He's charismatic. That's the doctor's word for him. Charismatic. I want to meet this charismatic fellow. Soon. Now. I said soon. Okay, we'll stop there. This gets messed up. This is just messed up. Okay. Am I start starting on a structure? Oh. Okay. Oh. Is this... Did this spawn, like, in a... T in... In a fucking... Side of village? Ow. Yeah, we know how this goes. Boom, boom, boom. Go as fast as we can at this beginning part. Oops, what am I doing? Boom. Okay, got some basic tools. Let's get a little bit more wood. Okay, we don't know what we're up against. Oh, we know what we're up against. A lot of zombies. All right, let's take a look around here. So is this, yeah, this is mid, in the middle of a, whoa, ho, ho, careful bear, bud. Don't. Don't go down there either, asshole. Yeah, let me help. Jeez. <laughs> Just watch him merrily. Merrily jump away. There we go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Take that. Oh, and I'll take one of these. Excuse me. Boom. Cool. Uh. Hey, bud. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, was there anything else I can get from this place? I need any of this. Oops, I don't know why I did that. Okay. Um. Make sure I have it. I need. Oh, I'm gonna need one of your lights. Ah, uh, I feel bad. I'll take this one. I want to leave you in the dark. Oh. Hell yeah. That's a duck of good luck. That's a good luck duck. Is there things in this? I don't... Nope. What is happening? What's the plopping? Uh... Hmm. 
I mean, it's an interesting thing to have, but it's not a useful thing to have. Should be picking up maybe those um, hay bales. Just taking a quick look first. Oh, what, what about this? What's this? Oh yeah, let's see if it's actually working this time. Nope. Oh. Almost missed that. Thank you. A little more food. Oh, I am taking you with me. Thank you. Rito style. Nice. Well, it doesn't look right. Suddenly the way that generated doesn't look like it happened right, that's for sure. Want to take anything else from this place? Oh, they might have some crops. Oh, that's cr more like craps. A hey, livestock? Nope. Well, you got a camp right beside you. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, this is no good. Still do it with yes. Clear this out. Hell yeah. Hey bud. Crazy. Wow, cool. So I got lots of leather and sticks. I can make a paraglider right away. That's good. Um, I should take this. Hey, bud, just taking that. Thank you. Excuse me. Cool, cool. Leaving, leaving. That was neat. That was a neat little thing to generate inside all of this. Grindstone used. Oh, I see. Oh, that would be fun, but I don't have enough of anything. I think I need, yeah, I need four spirit orbs for that. I do kind of want to, I want to bust into this a little bit. Yeah. Two blocks of diamond. Oh. Wait, no, is it four? Oh, it is four. Oh, fuck. I need, I need iron. I say as I look at this guy. Yeah, there is something. It's, it, it generated two structures here. It's not supposed to go up a second time, right? Yeah. Concrete. Ah. 
Did you get trapped up here, Mina? How'd you? Ho 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 ho! Okay. Fuck yeah. Okay, I know what kind of house tried to spawn up here. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, what do I got? Do I have enough to p be pillaring? Probably not. Be careful not to kill any of you. Jeez, by accident. I got five herbals. You got anything? Oh, wait, you. Yes. Sure, okay. That's fine. Uh, that's not bad. I can work with that. Do I not have a boat? Shit. There, that's better. Okay, felt naked without a boat. Okay, I need... Oh, stone, right here. Is exactly what I need. Three, there's a pickaxe. Two, three, there's an axe. Cool. Right, because I took the smoker. Quickly now before it gets dark. dark. It's going to be pretty crazy out there. You're all going to die, guys, unless I unless I leave, and I'm going to leave. And hopefully oh, hopefully I can come back to this, because man, do I want that. I can't. I can't get it with stone, right? No. No. I can't get it with stone. It's super dark. I tried to get away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Some of you are going to die. I think this is where I'm going to have to pillar up. Shit. Go, let's go up. Oh, I don't know. I can't go up higher. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, at least I don't have to cook any meat or anything. Uh, fuck. No, we're going as high as, high as it can go. Oh shit. I think that was a golem. Come on, bud, you can do it. There's an inf infinite amount. Oh, there's this, the fucking... The, uh, the iron that I need. One of those zombies is gonna have it. Alright, guess I'm spending the night just standing at the top of this pillar. Hoping that they don't uh, come up to me. Oh boy. <laughs> That's just bad. That's just bad. No, ignore it. Du -du -du. Where were we? I think we're on 76 here. Uh, now, 
I said soon. Redmond took the knife hand at the wrist so quickly Slape had no chance to press the weapon home. The adolescent's response was slow, dope perhaps, and Redmond had the better of him. The knife dropped from his hand as Redmond's grip tightened. The other hand took Slape in a stranglehold, easily rounding his emaciated neck. Redmond's palm pressed on the assailant's Adam's apple, making him gargle. Where's Hennessy? You take me to him. The eyes that looked down at Redmond were slurred at his words. The irises pinpricks. Take me to him, Redmond demanded. Slape's hand found Redmond's cut belly, and his fist jabbed the wound. Redmond cursed, letting his old hold slip, and Slap almost slid out of his gla- grasp. But Redmond drove his knee into the other groin, fast and sharp. Slap went to double up in agony, but the neck hold prevented him. The knee rose again, harder, and again. And again. Spontaneous tears ran down Slap's face, coursing through the minefield of his boils. I can... Through the Oh, jeez. I can hurt you twice as badly as you could hurt me, Redmond said. So if you want to go on doing this all night, I'm happy uh, as a sand boy. What does that even mean? Slape shook his head, grabbing his breath through his constricted windpipe in short, painful gasps. You don't want any more? Slape shook his head again. Redmond let go of him and flung him across the corridor against the wall. Whimpering with pain... His face crimped. He slid down the wall into a fetal position, hands between his legs. Where's Lacey? Sleep had begun to shake. The words tumbled out. Where do you think? Kevin's got him. Where's Kevin? Sleep looked up at Redmond, puzzled. Don't you know? I wouldn't ask if I did, would I? Sleep seemed to pitch forward as he spoke, letting out a sigh of pain. Redmond's uh, first thought was that the youth was collapsing, but Sleep had other ideas. The knife was suddenly in his hand again, snatched from the floor, and Sleep was driving it upwards t- towards Redmond's groin. He sidestepped the cut with a hair's breadth to spare, and Sleep was on his feet again, the pain forgotten. The knife slit the air back and forth, Sleep hissing his intention through his teeth. Kill you, pig! Kill you, pig! Then his mouth was wide, and he was yelling, Kevin! Kevin, help me. The slashes were less and less accurate as Slape lost control of himself, tears, snot, and sweat slamming his face as he stumbled towards his intended victim. Redmond chose this moment and delivered a crippling blow to Slape's knee, the weak leg, he guessed. He guessed correctly. Slape screamed and staggering back, reeling round and hitting the wall face on. Redmond followed through, pressing Slape's back too late. He realized what he'd done. Slape's body relaxed as his knife hand, crushed between wall and body, slid out, bloody and weaponless. Slape exhaled death air and collapsed heavily against the wall, driving the knife still deeper into his own gut. He was dead before he touched the ground. Redmond turned him over. He'd never become used to the suddenness of death, to be gone so quickly, like the image on the television screen. Switched off and blank. No message. The other silence of the corridors became overwhelming as he walked back towards the vestibule. The cut on his stomach was not significant, and the blood had made its own scabby bandage of its uh, of his shirt, knitting cotton to flesh and sealing the wound. It scarcely hurt at all, but the cut was the least of his problems. He had mysteries to unravel now, and he felt unable to face them. The used, exhausted atmosphere of the place made him feel, in his turn, used and exhausted. There was no health to be had here, no goodness, no reason. He believed suddenly in ghosts. In the vestibule, there was a light burning, a bare bulb suspended over the dead space. By it, he read Lacey's crumpled letter, the smudged words on the paper, like the matches set to the tinder of his panic. Mama, they fed me to the pig. Don't believe them if they said I never loved you or if they said I ran away. I never did. They fit me to the pig. I love you. Tommy. He pocketed the letter and began to run out of the building and across the field. It was dark now, a deep starless dark, and the air was muggy. Even in the daylight, he wasn't sure of the route to the farm. It was worse by night. He was very soon lost somewhere between the playing field and the trees. 
It was too far to see the outline of the main building behind him, and the trees ahead all looked alike. The night air was foul, no wind to freshen tired limbs. It was, a, it was as still outside as inside, as though the whole world had become an interior, a suffocating room bounded by a painted ceiling of cloud. He stood in the dark, the blood thumping in his head, and tried to orient himself. To his left, where he had guessed the outhouses to be, a light glimmered. Clearly, he was completely mistaken about his position. The light was at the sty. It threw the ramshackle chicken run into silhouette as he stared at it. There were figures there, several, standing as if watching a spectacle he couldn't yet see. He stared towards the sty. He started towards the sty, not knowing what he would do once he reached it. If they were all armed like slave and shared his murderous intentions, then that would be the end of him. The thought didn't worry him, though. Somehow tonight, somehow tonight to get off of this closed-down world was an attractive option. Down and out. And there was Lacey. There'd been a moment of doubt after speaking to Leve Leverthal. Oh, sorry. And there was Lacey. Uh, there was a moment of doubt after speaking to Leverthal. Le you know what? It's daylight. I should get on. All right. We'll leave it there. Okay. Oops. I mean, there are a few around, but... Oh, shit. Angry whale. A well just outside of town. Interesting. Looks like many might have despawned. It's possible I could get down from here. And if one of them picked up iron from the golem that died, I might be able to get that iron. <laughs> I can get that iron, then I can open up that diamond on that duck. Shit. Those aren't great sounds. Doesn't look like anybody's holding iron. Well, that's too bad. Oh, I didn't make my glider yet. Do I need more sticks? I think I need more sticks. There it is. Amazing. Any of you got that iron? Oh. Oh no, that's an ink sack. Stay in the water, boys. I could try to take them out. This is pretty dangerous, though. Let's see what I can do here. Who knows what I might get. Okay. That's a little too much.
Into the deeper water, guys. Oh, this way. I need you to turn into drown. Come on, turn into drown. This is how it works, right? This ain't really working. I'm gonna have to abandon this town. Alright, let's hit the water. At least I have that. that there's cities nearby like maybe multiple usually don't see so many of those towers for one. Oh, cows yeah 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 stop and kill some cows oh ah why why are you glitching on me? Cool. Ah! Why? Don't. Another tower? This is so strange. Ooh, what's that? Oh. It's worth checking out is what it is. Music gets creepy right at this moment. I don't see anybody. Indicator, eh? Yo. I got your number, pal. Okay. with this nonsense. Oh, I see a chest up there. A lot of wheat. A lot of bread. I'm really not interested in take I guess I'll take the bread. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of gunpowder, and we'll take your amethyst and your arrows and your stick, and I'll give you the sapling <laughs> and these seeds and the zombie flesh that I don't need, or that I don't need that. Okay. Wow. Oh, well, that was a good find. Maybe I should take this stuff too while I'm here. Um. Make a quick hoe. Oh. What do you know? You know what? This one's empty. I'm going to take it. And just double check real quick. I can't make. No. I'm still missing stuff. Still could be people here. I haven't heard anything. Okay. I think that's pretty clear. Cool. 
good find, good find. Okay, so if I cross to the other body of water. Oh, hey! Welcome back, Flynn. Oh, sorry, I mean Garfield Cool Cat 69. Oh. Well, what the hell is that then? Shit, is it is the sun setting? Okay, that's bad. That's real bad. That's real bad. Run, run, run. Let's see, what is this? Is this a pond? Okay, I don't think there's anything in the pond that I can... No. It's a nothing. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, I'm going to be dead if I start over here. Love the spoopy music. Thank you. It's a uh, bloop. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. I have a button for that. He's got royalty free music and I, I use it on my streams and I really like it. I found a bunch of them that are like, they're just nice tracks that like, oh, don't have any lyrics. What is that? Interesting. Fuck, it's gonna be nightfall. Shit, shit, I do not have a lot of time. Oh gosh, oh gosh. If I'm gonna go there, I gotta go there now, because if I wait overnight, there'll be too many zombies and I won't be able to even enter this building. It says villager mumbles. Hey guys, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, do you have, do you have treasure? Suspenseful, yeah. Fuck. Oh, is this a wood place? Is that not working? Oh, it doesn't open because of the chest? There's nothing in there. This place is a lie. Fuck. If I could set it on fire, I would. Wasted my time, and now it's going to be fucking dark out here. Okay. Well, congratulations. You're all going to die. I'm not. Uh, shit, this is not a good spot. I need to go straight up. Right here. Whee! Oh, boy. Oh, I thought I had more. Don't I have more? Oh, there's so many. Oh, so many zombies. Okay, hold on. Burn an eight. Yeah, I wish I could. Oh. I do have to check out what that is after if I can. Okay, okay. I gotta go up a bit higher because they can get me. That's probably fine. Oh, that's them. That's the sound of them breaking down the front door to that house. That's them going at it. Yep. All those people are going to die. <laughs> Ooh, can I actually see what that is? It's just a set of... tracks. Okay. Ooh. There's some light over there. It might be another building. Oh shit, those mobs can hear me or see me. What we got? Okay, I don't have a crowd at least. Sucks to those rim worlders, slow. I'm not sure what you mean. How did that go? Did your did your people survive? Did your camp survive? <laughs> Is there even a moon? Yeah, there's a moon. Hmm. How'd your rim rim worlding go? Did you man? Oh, did you manage to capture anybody? Because you were trying to capture new new to recruit people. Oh. 
I only have one survivor from the originals. Haha, <laughs> we got another child. Oh my god. She actually grew up and is now an adult. Huh. You know, as you do, all humans basically have a. S oh, yeah, that, that drug. That's cool. How did you manage to get a kid, though, with only females? Did you. You must have gotten somebody. Oh, boy. The lone surviving female. It's so weird to say it like that, I'll say woman. Let's see. Boom. Yeah, we've been reading the books of blood. We're on Blood P Pig Blood. Blood bloody pig blood. Whatever. The mom where the um there's the correctional center for boys. And they're like sacrificing things to the pig. We're just at the climax, but I don't necessarily need to read to you. <laughs> oh boy. All those sounds, every time you hear that sound, that that sound, that's a mob being alerted. That means they keep seeing me. Because I didn't build a big enough platform, of course. Uh, let's just dump that. I got my paraglider, that's incredibly handy. <laughs> Oh, I might, I might need that right away. Like, I could cook the steak actually. Let's do that. There we go. What is the story? Oh, it was this. The uh, the books of blood. We're on, let's see, that's page 78. I think it started around Pig, Pig Blood Blues. So I think that's like the third, third story in the book so far. Starting with the Midnight Meat Train and then followed by um, the Yattering and Jack. Yeah. But, yeah, we don't have to do that right now. Oh, shit. Oh, my, my frame rate is tanking right now. Something, there's just too many of them. The mob cap is at, uh, two, up to 200 at night. <laughs> so it might get a little, little janky. I could see... A lot of glowing swords. Oh, what are they fighting? They sometimes go after killer whales and orc or orcas and, and other whales. Damn. Let's see, what do I got at my feet? Oh boy. They're almost exclusively water guys too. That's great actually. Actually, there's a good strategy right there. Let's do that. Oh, hold on. Also, oh, was that already set down? Hmm. All right, whatever. Oh, actually, no, that can stay there. What I want to do is if I bridge off just a little bit and show myself here. I can ensure that any zombies that I get attracted from the land get turned into drown. I think. Though this looks like they're all drowned. Yeah. Yeah, that's all drowned. Oh boy. <laughs> well, I'm getting a couple of new ones there. Barely tell. Oh yeah, I see a, I see a, a miner in there. There's a builder. Oh, and a psycho. 
That builder was almost up onto the roof of that thing. It's guaranteed the people inside are dead. Guaranteed. Oh, hey. Hey, get in the water. Asshole. Come see. Can't you see me? Get in the water. There you go. Join the party. Oh, boy. It gets really World War Z at times. Especially if I'm further away from trees. Trees tend to cause a lot of lag, too. But, um... When I'm further away and the performance is better, they move like liquid. Oh good, the night's just about over. I can go down and deal with that. I think when the sun comes up, all the drown will stay in the water, so I'm safe from them. That's the whole point of turning them into drown right now. Because zombies, zombies don't burn in the sun. So, the less I have chasing me, the better. <laughs> that is ridiculous. I need to take a screenshot. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, look at the field. All those dirt blocks are, are the builders randomly placing blocks. I think they just... Oh. This is ridiculous. Okay. Um, well, good thing I have a paraglider. I'm going to get the hell out of here and go that way. Let's get a boat handy, because I'm going to have to switch to that real quick. Okay, this is a Breath of the Wild style. Ooh. Oh, yeah. No, no. Forward, 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 forward. Go forward. <laughs> go forward. Oh, shit. I'm going to run out of stamina. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Just rest a moment. As they come, as they always come. Okay. There. I got a good head start on them. Oh, hello, crow friend. Okay. If I get on the water, now, i going to make some, uh, can actually get some better ground. Oh. Those towers mean that there is a city nearby. Wait a second. I've seen this already. This couldn't have generated like this twice. I might have gone in a full circle. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. I was going that way. Wait a second. Wait, there's towers there too? I'm going this way. I think I know where I am. Wait a second. <laughs> I've really gone. Is that the well? Okay. I know where I am. Hmm. Okay, so then I do want to go this way. I've been to that town. Nearly got wiped out. There's a little cannibal camp. Thankfully, there were no cannibals this time. Oh, glitch in the glitch in the shader. Let's go. No cannibals this time. One wipe me out. My last go, life number twenty-two, because this is we're on twenty-three. Um, it was like I survived for about five minutes. I spawned right near a cannibal camp, and there were cannibals, and they killed me immediately. I was done. I was like, okay, we're done. Oh, yeah, I gotta be on the lookout for whales, too. Oh. What's that? Oh, I thought that was something good. Oh. Well, a boat. I'll take that. Ooh, and a sunken ship, too. Double good. And part of a city. Great. Great. The sounds. Oh, oh, fuck. Okay, I can't really go in the water. That's the only thing. If I go in the water, the drown will eat me. There's so many of them. I think there should be... Fuck yeah. One piece of iron. That's fine. That's fine. So 
sorry we were sorry we were busy eating the guy that rescued us low my colony went down and there's an event where you get saved by a man in black but he kept doing the drugs so i had to take him out for grandma <laughs> that's great that's funny i'm sorry that happened but also that's hilarious i like the stories that come of it Ooh. I should get that boat. Oh, that echo. That means that there's... Yeah, there's a tunnel right there. That's a city tunnel thing, like a, a road. A subway. Gosh, I hate... I hate the sounds. No, I don't like it. Hello, I am boarding your vessel. Oh, thank you. you is it just kids here? What? Josephine and... What's your name? Shirley? Shirley and Josephine, trapped on a boat. Oh, I'm taking all your supplies, though. Just, just saying. Tell you what, I will leave you. What, what garbage do I have? Here, you can have... Uh, I might need that. You know what? I'll never need Lapis Lazuli. You can have that. That should be in my hand. Sure. Oh, yeah. I should cook some of this up, actually. While I'm here. Okay, get that going. Cool. I can hear you, Drowned. I can hear you. Uh, where's my hoe? Here's my hoe. Yay! Easily breakable block that I don't have to use my good tools for. Yeah, the echoes. It's, uh, physics attenuated noises, so... Yeah, some a lot of those echoes are coming from the uh, yeah the underground tunnels. It's great. It's great. It gets worse the closer I get to the city. Oops. There we go. Oh, I should take that. There we go. So, twenty six. Not bad. Um. Wow. Is it still daylight? Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, we need some light on here so you guys don't die. That should probably be enough. Let's check your roof. Yeah, you need some light up here, too. That should be enough. Oh, boy. Okay. Fuck, I wish I had a clock. Oh, I can change the statue. Well, yeah, this is part of the Breath of the Wild type thing here, too, so I get... I mean, the only thing it really adds is the paragliders, but then it gives you this these goddess statues that I can trade... Uh, spirit orbs for either heart containers or more stamina for the, uh, paraglider. Oh, the shader's doing a weird thing there. Anyway. It's good to have and hang on to. Oh, oh damn it, my macro deck went out of sync. Come on. Technical difficulties, one moment. Oh, one piece of iron. Actually, let's double check. What can I make right now? Fucking, I hate doing that.
Yeah, I never played it either, but I know about the paraglider thing, and I know that there's stamina. I don't know if the goddess statues are in the game, but I think it's something that somebody just kind of added in to give a lore-friendly way for you to upgrade your stamina. I can make a shield, I guess. Doesn't really help me against the zombies, though. Oh, hey. Welcome back, 97 Guten. What we got here? Hello, did you know that back in the day when black people did cotton picking, they could earn up today's equivalent of $200 an hour? What a random fact, Guten. Uh, all right, so, all right, uh, my macro deck is back up.
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for letting me know. That means that means my thing was working and uh, it caught up to itself. That's great. I wonder how long I was uh, off for. Amazing. Um, anyway, I was going to say I was going to go back to, re to reading uh, through the night. And I guess I'll restate that part. Uh, I was over on page 79 here. Ahead, there were figures in the night wandering away from the farm. He could see them against the lights of the sty. Was it all over already? He made a long curve round to the left of the buildings to avoid the spectators as they left the scene. They made no noise. There was no chatter or laughter amongst them. Like a congregation leaving a funeral, they walked evenly in the dark, each apart from the other, heads bowed. It was eerie to see these godless delinquents so subdued by reverence. The adolescent boys. This is a... Uh, takes place at a center for adolescent boys in like I don't know when when there was still black and white TV and uh, this this is sort of from the point of view of this ex-cop who's there teaching woodworking or something anyway and a boy has gone missing and another boy has now gone missing and something about a pig is involved and so we're getting to that he reached the chicken run without encountering any of them face to face there were still a few figures lingering around the pig house. The wall of the sow's compartment was lined with candles, dozens and dozens of them. They burned steadily in the still air, throwing a rich warm light on the brick and onto the faces of the few who still stared into the mysteries of the sty. Leverthal was among them, which is uh, one of the ladies running the place. Oh boy. As was the warder who would knelt at Lacey's head the first day. Two or three boys were there, too, whose faces he recognized but could put no name to. There was a noise from the sty, the sound of the sow's feet on the straw as she accepted their stares. Somebody was speaking, but he couldn't make out who. An adolescent's voice, with a lilt to it. As the voice halted in its monologue, the wanderer, the warder and another of the boys broke rank as if dismissed and turned away into the dark. Redman crept a little closer. Time was of the essence now. Soon, the first of the congregation would have crossed the field and be back at, in the main building. They'd see Slape's corpse, raise the alarm. He must find Lacey now, if indeed Lacey was still to be found. Leverthal saw him first. She looked up from the sty and nodded a greeting, apparently unconcerned by his arrival. It was as if his appearance at this place was inevitable, as if all routes led back to the farm, to the straw house and the smell of excrement. It made a kind of sense that she'd believe that. He almost believed it himself. Leverthal, he said. She smiled at him openly. The boy beside her raised his head and smiled too. Are you Hennessy? Sorry, are you, are you Hennessy? He asked, looking at the boy. The youth laughed, and so did Leverthal. No, 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 no. Hennessy is here. She pointed into the sty. Redman walked into the few remaining yards, the few remaining yards to the wall of the sty, expecting but not daring to expect the straw and the blood and the pig and Lacey. But Lacey wasn't there. Just the sow, big and beady as ever. Standing amongst pats of her own odor, her huge, ridiculous ears flapping over her eyes. Where's Hennessy? asked Redmond, meeting the sow's gaze. Here, said the boy. This is a pig. She ate him, said the youth, still smiling. He obviously thought the idea delightful. She ate him, and he speaks out of her. Redmond wanted to laugh. This made Lacey's tale of ghosts seem almost plausible by comparison. They were telling him the pig was possessed. Did Hennessy hang himself, as Tommy said? Leverthal nodded. In the sty? Another nod. Suddenly the, big, the pig took on a different aspect. In his imagination, he saw her reaching up to sniff at the feet of Hennessy's twitching body, sensing the death coming over it, salivating at the thought of its flesh. He saw her licking the dew that oozed from its skin as it rotted, lapping at it, nibbling daintily at first, then devouring it. 
It wasn't too difficult to understand how the boys could have made a mythology of that atrocity, inventing hymns to it, attending upon the pig like a god. The candles, the reverence, the intended sacrifice of Lacey. It was evidence of sickness, but it was no more strange than a thousand other customs of faith. <laughs> he even began to understand Lacey's lassitude, his inability to fight the powers that overtook him. Mama, they fed me to the pig. Nah, Mama, help me, save me. Just, they gave me to the pig. All this he could understand. They were children, many of them undereducated, some verging on mental instability, all susceptible to superstition. But that didn't explain Leverthal. She was staring into the sty again, and Redmond registered for the first time that her hair was unclipped and lay on her shoulders, honey-colored in the candlelight. It looks like a pig to me, plain and simple, he said. Oh, it stopped raining and it's daylight. All right, we're going to pause on that. Damn, it's getting good. I for, I, I've read the story before, so I kind of like vaguely remembered like the gist of it. I forgot about Leverthal being involved. Jeez. Oh, damn, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, am I really that full of stuff? Uh, I'll drop that. Oh, I have more steak. Whatever. I need... Oh, man. I need... Okay, I need to drop that. Uh, I don't need maps, I don't think. Oh, thank you. So, <laughs> yeah, the fan's nearby. So I don't get smoke staying on screen for too long and thank you uh i really enjoy reading out loud um i don't have a bow but i think i should keep the arrows oh is that a wandering trader this i think this is the first time i've seen one in 23 runs how how do the, how are they not killing you oh shit <laughs> There's a whole conga line underwater. What the fuck? Hey, bud. Can I buy? I have. Oh, I have emeralds. What do you have this? A sombrero? I kind of want it. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, bud. Yeah, that was that was bound to happen. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Um, oh, I, I, I hate that I have a mix of wood right now. Uh, I want to keep my hail bale, my hay, my hay, hay bales for later. Here, this is what I'm going to do. I need to free up some slots. So let's put those away. Take an axe to this stuff. Actually, this is probably more efficient. Yeah, I know. I know. So close to that sombrero. I think that was added from Alex's mobs. The the thing that adds all the uh, animals. The extra animals to the game. It has a bunch of like weird recipes and that I think that's one of them. Okay. Okay, that's good. Give me that one too. I don't want that cotton. There we go. So Boom, fifty seven. That's amazing. So now I can go up here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry, I find that just so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can make it to that city and get away from this noise that's coming from that tunnel. Uh, let's go a little higher up. I think I just want to make it over there. Come on, got a good clip, got a good clip. Hell yeah. <laughs> Water. Water world, yeah. 
Uh, I once heard from a woman that she wanted to make my life a living hell. I simply told her I wasn't open for a relationship yet and then thanked her for the offer. Cute. That's, uh, cute. Well, that isn't a sentiment towards all women, obviously. Probably not. Oh, fuck's sakes. Is that the sound of them breaking down that door? I really want to get... Uh, if I can get two more spirit orbs, I can, I can increase my hearts or my stamina. Why is this guy not coming for me? What's up, bud? Come here. Come here. Let me at you. Just a regular zombie. I love it. Classic. Shit. Yeah, they just broke down a door. <laughs> God damn it. Hmm. Okay. There might be a way out of this. I'm gonna go like that. And then I'm gonna go like that. And like that. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, shit. No. Nope. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, I forgot about the builder. Eh. Fuck off. Can you even get back up? Okay. Okay, this is manageable. No, here, let me help you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come on. Cool. Hopefully I picked up something there, because I am full of stuff. There's string. I need that string. Shit! Oh, shit! The, the, the miners are there. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, God. 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 Run, run, run. Run, run. Ah! Go, go, go. Ah. Fuck. Fuck. Go. Woo. Go, 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 go. Uh, <laughs> shit. Like a glass breaking and everything. Oh. oh. Wait, is that a zombie pig? God damn it. Fuck off, assholes. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're skipping that city. We're just, we're just, we're just skipping that city. Overpopulated. Oh. How did I come up on this place? I think I fully came from the other direction or I came from that direction. I can't, I don't remember. Shit. All right, I'm going to kind of go this way a bit then. Maybe try to get some higher ground. I'm hoping I can spot like the best thing I can do, like if there's no point in like mining re for resources. I need to scavenge, which means finding buildings in the wild. Fuck off. It's just always nipping at my heels. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. I know what track this is. Oh, wow. Oh, some emus. Um... What's the plan here? Guess I should just cross? Yeah, let's cross. Oh shit, lava. Okay. Hmm. Oh, a different city. Lovely. Actually, that's not too bad, because... Uh, I don't need leather boys. I'm not going to kill you. Oh, I could use steak, though. Okay, there's too many zombie animals here. I could get taken out. Yep, 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 yep. They're coming for me. Shit. Okay, now I want at these buildings because I can break a spawner and be set. Okay. Quick look around. 
Nothing in this building. Okay, okay, okay. Next one, next one. I don't see anything. This one, this one's definitely got stuff in it. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Uh... This one. This one? Come on. This one. Give it to me. Oh, hey, treasure. Oh, ho, ho. Oh. Oh, oh, gotta give something up. I'll give up that. That's fine. Go, 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 go. There's a spawner. Shit. I can hear things breaking behind me. Oh, boy. Nope. Fuck. Just, just, ah. It's gonna be dark. Oh, oh shit. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's stupid. At least they can't get through the steel doors. I know that. Though the miners can still break through blocks, so I am still screwed if they do that. Uh, I hear block breaking. Oh, hey, some iron. Fuck. It's gonna be swarming with zombies. Shit. Oh, okay. Here they come. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, let's get a good screenshot there. Wow. Uh, higher, 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 higher. Let's <laughs> just burn it all. I really need iron, though. Iron would solve a lot right now. It would solve a lot. Okay. Uh, let's just reload the textures there. It was glitching out a little too hard. And... There we go. Let's make a tiny platform. Just so that the ones below me don't immediately see me. Okay. Hate the sounds. Cool. Um, okay. Let's... Ah, it's glitching. No. Don't you do that. Thank you. Oh, fuck off. Cool. Let's toss some things. Toss that. I don't need wall. The compass isn't helping me. Sh Shotgun shell. That better not have been a steel door. That sounded different. That better not be a steel door. I would hate to know that they could do that. That would... I don't... Don't tell me. In fact. Okay. Oh. oh. Woo. A lot of noise. Okay. And now... We wait for day.
Oh. Off to bed? All right. <laughs> In the black, thank you so much. Have a good night, mate. I'll talk to you soon, I'm sure. All right, let's switch to the book. Uh, da, da, da. We're near the... Oh, yeah, we were at the top of this page. Okay. It looks like a pig to me, plain and simple, he said. She speaks with his voice, Leverthal said quietly. Speaks in tongues, you might say. You'll hear him in a while, my darling boy. Then he understood. You and Hennessy? Don't look so horrified. He was 18, hair blacker than you've ever seen. He loved me. Why did he hang himself? To live forever, she said. So he'd never be a man and die. We didn't find him. Oh, we didn't find him for six days, said the youth, almost whispering in the redman's ear. Yeah, cheers. And even then, she wouldn't let anybody near him once he had him to herself. The pig, I mean. Not the doctor. Everyone loved Kevin, you see. He was beautiful. And where's Lacey? Leverthal's loving smile decayed. With Kevin, said the youth. Where Kevin wants him. He pointed through the door of the sty. There was a body lying on the straw back to the down, back to the door. If you want him, you'll have to go and get him, said the boy. And the next moment he had the back of Redmond's neck in a vice grip. The sow responded to the sudden action. She started to stamp the straw, sh showing the whites of her eyes. Redmond tried to shrug off the boy's grip, at the same time delivering an elbow to his belly. The boy backed off, winded and cursing, only to be replaced by Leverthal. Go to him, she said as she snatched at Redmond's hair. Go to him if you uh, go to him if you want him. Her nails raked across his temple and nose, just missing his eyes. Get off me, he said, trying to shake the woman off. But she clung, her head lashing back and forth as she tried to press him over the wall. The rest happened with horrid speed. Her long hair brushed through a candle flame. Oh, and her head caught fire, the flames climbing quickly. Shrieking for help, she stumbled heavily against the gate. It failed to support her weight and she gave inward. Redmond watched helplessly as the burning woman fell amongst the straw. The flames spread enthusiastically across the forecourt towards the sow, lapping up the kindling. Even now, in, ex in extremis, uh, the pig was still a pig. No miracle here. No speaking. No pleading in tongues. The animal panicked as the blaze surrounded her, cornering her stamping bulk and licking at her flanks. The air was filled with the stench of singing, singeing bacon as the flames ran up her sides and over her head, chasing through her bristles like a grass fire. Her voice was a pig's voice, her complaints a pig's complaints. Hysterical grunts escaped her lips and she hurtled t across the forecourt of the sty and out of the broken gate, trampling Le Leverthal. The sow's body, still burning, was a magic thing in the night as she careered across the field, weaving about in her pain. Her cries did not diminish as the dark ate her up. They seemed to just to echo back and forth across the field, unable to find a way out of the locked room. Remen stepped over Leverthal's fire-ridden corpse and into the sty. The straw was burning on every side, and the fire was creeping towards the door. He half shut his eyes against... They sound really close at... close by. Hold on. They sound really close. How close are they? They're pillaring, but they're not quite at me, and they're dying instead. I think it's safe to continue. Oops. Okay. Ah, uh, da 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 da. Redmond stepped over Leverthal's fire-ridden corpse and into the sty. The straw was burning on every side, and the fire was creeping towards the door. He half shut his eyes against the singeing, stinging smoke and ducked into the pig house. Lacey was lying as he had been all along, back to the door. 
Redmond turned the boy over. He was alive. He was awake. His face, bloated with tears and terror, stared up out of his straw pillow. Eyes so wide they looked fit to leap from his head. Get up, Redmond said, leaning over the boy. His small body was rigid, and it was all Redmond could do to prise his limbs apart. With little words of care, he coaxed the boy to his feet as the smoke began to swirl into the pig house. Come on, it's all right. Come on, on. He stood upright, and something brushed his hair. Redmond felt a little rain of worms across his face and glanced up to see Hennessy, or what was left of him, still suspended from the crossbeam of the pig house. His features were incomprehensible, blackened to a drooping smush. His body was raggedly gnawed off at the hip, and his innards hung from the fetid carcass dangling in wormy loops in front of Redmond's face. Had it not been for the thick smoke and the smell of the body would have been overpowering. As it was, Redmond was simply revolted, and his revulsion gave strength to his arm. He hauled Lacey out of the shadow of the body and pushed him through the door. Outside, the straw was no longer blazing as brightly, but the light of the fire and candles burning body still made him squint after the dark interior. Come on, lad, he said, sniffing the kid lifting the kid through the flames. The boy's eyes were button bright, lunatic bright. They said futility. They crossed the sty to the gate, skipping Leverthal's corpse and headed into the darkness of the open field. The boy seemed to be stirring from his sickened state with every step they took away from the farm. Behind him, the sty was already a, bla a blazing memory. Ahead, the night was still and impenetrable as ever. Redmond tried not to think of the pig. It must be dead by now, surely. Okay, that's... That's a good spot to, to pause that. Okay. Wow, they made a good effort of it. Real good effort of it. See ya, sucker! Ah! Ah! Don't... Oh, shit. This ain't great. This ain't great. Oh, I'm stuck! Is there a chicken egg? Ah! Ah! Come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Clear out of the city. I just need to make it to this piece of hell. Yeah. Okay. Whew. Ah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Fuck, I don't want to have to turn the shaders off. Why is it doing that? Fuck. Go, 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 go. Oh, come on. Just somewhere where I can, like, just make sense of things. Whew. Okay. Oh. So tense. Oh, shit. Is that a pirate ship? That's a huge score. That's a huge score. I need to go to over there. Okay. This is fine. Fuck, I don't have... I don't have stone. Okay. Oh, wait, I'm standing on stone. Let's make sure I have another axe ready. Let's go for it. Oh. Come on, no scallywags. No scallywags. Okay. It's this side of the boat. The 
we go right here. Right here. Okay. Uh, guess I'm gonna have to use this. Damn it. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> damn. Huh. Well, that sucks. It's right above that. It's right above that. Come on, jump off. Assholes. Okay. I mean, I could take him, maybe. Oh my god! Oh my god! No! Whoa! This is- this is madness! This is- is this even possible? Here's what I'm gonna try to do. Damn it. Okay, let's move away from this for a second. Woo. I'm going for it. Right here. Fuck yeah. Diamonds. Sure, gold. That doesn't matter. Uh. Uh. I'll just take that one book. Damn it, that wasn't as good as I thought. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh god. Uh. Jeez, no. Okay. That's a little bit of iron, but that looks super dangerous. No. No. Okay, I'll go for this side. <laughs> this looks a little bit more reasonable. Yes! Give me more than one. Yes! Okay, I need uh, enough uh, for a furnace as well. That's plenty. Cool. Two diamonds. I could make a sword. Wait, that's for... Oh, uh, yeah, that wasn't the greatest thing to get. Damn it. If I get a bow, that'd be alright. Oh shit, ice is forming. Okay. Let's keep moving. Hmm. Keeping an eye out for good things. I don't like it when it's raining like this. The visibility is so much more reduced. Okay. Okay. Oh, another city. Great. Well, that might have something. Hold on. Plus, hello. All this coal. I'll take a little bit. Don't mind. Don't mind. Okay. 
Let's not get too greedy. Oh, I mean, I have to. <gasps> oh, hell yes. Oh, hell yes. Okay. I'm in, like, a lot of danger being around here, so... Let's find somewhere I can camp, because it feels like it's getting dark enough now. Cool. I have so much coal. I should be so happy with that. Um... Oh. I should 100% go for some, uh, flint. Fuck, I need to be picking this up. Do I really need this? Do I really need that? I don't need the amethyst. Oh, I do want it, though, for the, uh, spyglass. Shit. There. I don't need dirt. Really? I don't have to fucking run already. Jeez. Okay, right here. Oh wait, no. Maybe I'm okay. Oh shit, what not with that guy there? Where's my boat? Fuck. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> and we go. Hello, turtle. Oh, I can hear them. I can hear them everywhere. Shit, I don't have a lot of building block. Well, this ain't good. This ain't good. This ain't good. Oh, oh, and it's getting dark. Oh my god. Um... Uh... What am I gonna do? We're going straight up here, I guess. I have no choice. Oh, f I'm... I am fucked. Two, three, four, five. That's not a lot of height. They could easily get me here, too. I need... Oh, thank goodness. Twelve more is good. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay, they could still come out from that building or from on top, but I think I'm okay. Uh. Wait, wait a second. What is that? I'm not sure what that light's from. Usually don't see a lot of lights on. Okay. Okay, so... This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. I, I still need to, like, do things. Okay. Oh, fuck. There's a builder there. Oh, no. Let's go. <laughs> um, I need, I need sticks. Oh, <gasps> oh, am I standing on sticks? Shit, shit. One, two. Okay. You're gonna stay over there, right, bud? Doesn't sound like he's gonna stay over there. Let's 
just gonna toss that. Okay, I have a bunch of iron. I don't want to waste it. I should have... Oh, wait. I don't have string? Damn it. Ooh. I can make a clock. I'm making a clock. Awesome. I can't even make a bow. What is even happening? Oh, this is going to be so crazy. The sound. Oh my god. Okay, I think I could toss... I'm going to toss the wooden axe and the... Yeah. I think... Here, I need more sticks. So much noise. Uh, one, two. There we go. Sticks. Amazing. Oh my god. Ah, there we go. Um, alright, so I have that, so I need... Pickaxe. And I'm just going to toss that for now. That's just taking up inventory space. Fuck. Oh, they're busting out of a window. Good for them. Great for them. Oh yeah, I think I wanted to make a hoe. There we go. Feel good about that. This sound. Uh, oh no! Totally just launched my brand new hoe. All right, amazing. They are going wild. Yeah, I'll keep the rest, I guess, as is. Oh shit, it's the new moon. No wonder. This is, I think, the max that, the, that it'll spawn. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Not a lot of I can do. I don't have flint. Whoop. They're going pretty crazy. But uh, they haven't managed to get to me yet. Kind of feeling good about that. Oh god, the noise. My frames are dropping pretty bad too. Wow, can I see a third person at all? No, that doesn't help. Just ignore them. Wouldn't be surprised if the game crashed with how many mobs it's trying to handle. I should probably crank that down just a little bit. 200. <laughs> 200 might be a, quite a... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Where are we at in the night? Is it almost dawn? Christ fuck. Oh, there's an enchanting table in there. Not that I'm gonna use it. It's good to know that there could be. Oh, that light's from the little bit of glow lichen. I didn't notice that before. Wow. <laughs> oh, there we go. Here comes the sun. Oh my god. Okay, so I gotta be real careful about how I do this, because I could die right here. What day is it? We're about to be the day of the six. but it's all I got for stacking. All right, how am I gonna do this? What I'm gonna do... I just need to make it back to the water is what I need to do. So let's reclaim some of this wood. Oh, they're fervor. They got a fervor. Okay, I go now. Oh my gosh. Oops. Make sure I'm looking the right way. Wow. That was insane. Oh. That's a sunken ship. That actually might have some decent stuff in it. Out. Any more easy iron? Actually, I should grab wood while I have the chance. Just because I have the axe. Yeah. Well, that saves me so much time. Having having that kind of axe. Hell yeah. That's much better. Now we're talking. All right. I am. There's another ship out there. That might be too submerged. I think I could get into the back half of it. Wait. No, I didn't do this. Okay. I'm like, wait a second. This looks familiar, but no, just everything will look familiar. Oh yeah, no, that's a bad ship. That's a pillager ship. We don't fuck with that. Where is it? Okay. That'll help, I guess. I don't care about the Lapis Lazoo. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, this ship. <clears throat> now this one... It's gonna have some baddies on it, but I think I could... I could probably crack into their... As long as nothing's immediately attacking me. Yeah, fuck that. I don't need I don't need their shit. Let's just keep moving. Oh hello, little fisherman guy. May I come aboard? Well thanks. 
What do you, oh, that's mine. Also, these are mine, but I can't carry it, so you can hang on to it for now. Hmm, I will take your emeralds, though. That is all. Inspection complete. I don't even know where we're going anymore. Guess we're going... Oh, wait, no. I need to hug the coast. Okay. Yeah, I'm back on track. Music's extra creepy right now. That's great. Oh, another city. Oh. It's a cool house in the middle. Alright, let's see if we can even do this. Hmm. Here, I'll use... Use the off-colored woods first. Oh, wait. I have a shovel. What am I doing? I should be getting... Not only picking up gravel, but trying to get that flint. There it is. I mean, go for more if you can. All right, I'm picking it up good. Hell yeah. That was great. Uh, arrows. Fuck it. Come on. Get out of there. Okay. Yeah, I want to go up there. Paragliders always in my bar. There we go. Okay. This looks cool. Oh, this is an inn. Hey, bud. I'm coming in. Yeah, I know. It was that funny, eh? Fuck. I really can't carry much. Yeah, that was all. Though that's gonna be it, eh? Okay, best of luck here. I'll help you out. There. Good as new. Uh. Huh. Keeping a freaking eye out of on everything. Oh, yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. Hell, I am cleaning up. Oh, copper if I want to make that spyglass. Uh, there. Where are we going here? I guess I'm going this way. We could try to get to the top of that mountain. That might be fun. Ooh, it's a little icy too. Interesting. Wow. Okay, I guess up we go.
I'm probably going to encounter powdered snow. There we go. Now I'm ready. been pretty solid so far. Oh, it's like, where did my shovel go? Nice. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. There's a wizard's tower nearby. Might have a potion or something, but not much else. Oh, I think we can go higher. Yeah, this is all right. Highest peak. Is it? Or is that the highest peak now? All I know is this is going to be fun getting down. Going for it. Oh shit. Oh! <gasps> That's deadly. Fuck. That would just take me out so quick. Okay, let's do this. So much stuff. I'm just moving stuff around. What did I pick up? Oh, I don't understand. Alright, let's just drop that for a second. really not going to help that much, is it? I want to tell myself that it does, but... Okay. That's my only light source. I should hang on to that. Uh, thank you. Stone is fine. Let's do that next. Two, three, four, five. Then gravel. Cool. And so it begins. Let's go the whole gravel way up. That way I can just get all the flint on the way down. Boom. And then I got so much I can create a platform from. There we go. Oh, okay. I can breathe a little easier. Um, all right, furnace. I'll throw that in. I still don't have string. I put efficiency on the shovel. I did drop I did drop the uh, the arrow, so it's not like I'm really saving for a bow. Let's just do that. Jeez, that sound. Um Hacks would be fine, yeah. Oh, 
Might as well name it while I can. Oh, I should use this and drop it on zombies. I wonder how that would work if I drop it on like a horde at my at the base. Ooh. Time for a little prayer to the goddess. Yo. Um, let's do. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Awesome. Oh, I should have a flint and steel. That makes sense. Ooh, also, I have all those nuggets. I need to not be carrying them. So let's turn them into that. And then just toss the rest. Don't care. Uh, what else? I got shit armor. That's going to take eight. That'll leave me with five. Hmm. No. Oh, I have everything I need to make guns, don't I? Let's do that. Oh, I don't have sticks. Hold on. There we go. Boom. Stick. And then bullets. Let's do... Yeah, let's do the iron bullets. Oh, I can get a full stack. Yes. Okay. And tons of gunpowder left over. Now I don't have enough for a backpack. What do I need for a backpack? Do I need four? I don't need any. I just need string. I always forget that. If I kill some zombies, I can get some string, that's for sure. Cool. Oh, I can make that spyglass. Cool. And then I can toss that, because I don't need it. Toss that, because I don't need it. Not anymore. I don't even think I need the redstone. Let's toss it. Okay, that looks good. Now I can zoom in. I can do extra zoom if I need to. But this is actually way better zoom than that. Yeah, nice. Ooh, some lava. Oh, too bad I didn't have the foresight to build a bucket. Okay. Alright, I don't know how much time we got left, but maybe I'll read a little bit. I don't know. This one's going down pretty quick. I think I'll just wait for it. Cool. Yeah, we're almost there. This is why I have a clock on me, right? Oh, I know. If I do this... I freed up a whole bunch of room. Absorption, regeneration, speed. When applied, plus 20% speed. I'm going to have to use that at some point. Probably to run from zombies. Come on. 
That's the horizon. Okay, so where my where I'm pointing is the horizon. Yeah, we're almost done. Oh, oh, don't you fucking walk off this. I also haven't heard any zombie noises in a while. That's been nice. Oh yeah, how do I make this blaze bullet so uses hunger as ammo, five damage. Huh. How do you make that? Oh yeah, I'm not making that. If I can get some blaze powder. I don't know where I'm gonna get blaze powder from, but that would be the way to go. Eight damage? Okay. Sniper, Gatlin, Diamond Shotgun. Hmm. Oh, I see. Accuracy perfect. Oh, there's no difference between gold. All right, here we go. Get my wood back. Get my flint. Oh yeah, I want to kill some zombies. Oh, shit. Well, maybe not that many. No. Look at all this stamina. It's stamina for days. Have I been in here? No? Okay. That was strange. I don't care about you. Actually, yeah, I do. Come here. Yeah, I got nobody chasing me, so I might as well see if I can get some food. Ugh. Okay, let's go. Oh, another one. Whee! Oh, that was good. Nice. Holy shit. Okay. That's a lot to process. Uh, wow. Water breathing? Uh, don't really need that. Don't think I'm going to need the... Oh, uh, yeah, no, I do want the TNT. I do want the TNT. What am I thinking? Cool. I'm just carrying everything I can. Here, let's just drop that. I don't know if I need this. Keep the steak for now. Screw it. Oops. I think I was generally going this way. Ah! I guess I might as well sneak a peek here. What's below me? Interesting. Uh, yeah. Let's grab a couple more. Don't really need iron right now. I do seem to have a lot. Oh, I have enough I could build. I could make like some pants or something. That would probably be smart. Hmm. Am I going to cross the sea? 
Yes, I am. Hopefully not die on the way. Okay. Land ho. Any good resources showing? No. So forest that way. Looks like a little bit more grasslandsy over here. Maybe. I should probably climb up and take a peek. Let's just try to find a spot though. Yeah, this looks like it. <laughs> oh. Gravel for now. Oh. <laughs> All the zombie livestock, yeah, gather around. Oh shit. out of the ledge and it's, it's not even quite dusk yet <coughs> this place populated okay it is I don't have a haystack okay What's this? Is this the church? Ah! Ah! I'm not fucking with you guys. I don't want to die from Iron Golem just if I hit the wrong thing. Okay. They're really leaving me no choice? No, I don't want to. I'll hit the villager. <laughs> Really nothing here, is there? Oh, you're holding out on me. There we are. Don't care. Livestock can grumble all they want. I am straight in here. Okay. Guess I'm gonna leave that behind. Why is there a sound of that so close? Fuck, um, we're glitching again. I need a shovel, or I need a, uh, a bucket stat. Damn it. There we go. Now, we got a good weapon. <laughs> What am I leaving behind? That. Hmm. Oh, I'm not used to seeing that. That's neat. Is there more? Sort of. Uh, drowned runes? Maybe? <coughs> ah, damn it. Two drowned runes. There might be a chest, though. Hmm. 
I really did expect this. Find the chest, okay. It's not that kind of ruins. Alright, I should get away from these people before I bring hell down on them. It's also a thing to indicate a city is nearby. Probably hit that again soon. There it is. Oh, what else? Interesting. Well, we got some time left. Maybe I'll get lucky and find some fucking string. Take your emeralds. Thanks. You probably have zombies in the attic, just so you know. Fuck. Uh, well, there was a thing nearby. There was a... Yeah. What the fucking animal's coming at me right now? Get away from me. An extra bucket. Flame enchantment? That's for the bow, isn't it? I don't think I need any of this. I don't want to be stuck in here. It's going to be a real noisy field if I post up out here. Get a city so close. You know, I want to explore the city, so why don't I just get away from it? And then I can kind of head towards it afterwards. Okay. Actually, you know what? Fuck that city. There are other cities. Okay. We're posting up. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'll try to keep my gra keep my wood. Oh, that's some glitch. There we go. Assessment time. What do I need? I need... Uh, let's start with pants. Cool. Good enough? Don't have enough for anything else. Let's drop that. I need a backpack. It's the only reason why I've been carrying this around. Which is, I guess, fine for now. Everything feels like junk. Okay. Let's call it there. For that. And... Hey! Restart macro deck again. What time is it? I'm not even aware what time it is. Oh, it looks like I got an update from my friend. 
on his RimWorld game. That's not what I was expecting. Hey, that works. Oh, I should probably call it soon. Oh, it is getting late for me. It's 3.30 in the morning here. Can't quite tell how long I've been going for. OBS says four hours, but I don't believe it. Uh, survey says almost five hours. Wow. Okay. Uh, all right, let's close out of that. Let's do some reading then. Where were we? We we're almost done the story, I'm sure. Oh, yes. Redmond tried not to think of the pig. It must be dead by now, surely. But as they ran, there seemed to be a noise in the earth as something huge kept pace with them, content to keep its distance, wary but relentless in its pursuit. He dragged on Lacey's arm and hurried on, the ground sunbaked beneath their feet. Lacey was whimpering now, no words as yet, but sounds at least. It was a good sign, a sign Redmond needed. He'd had about his fill of insanity. They reached the building without incident. The corridors were empty as they'd been when they'd left an hour ago. Perhaps nobody had found Slape's corpse yet. It was possible. Now the Boyds had seemed in a fit mood for recreation. Perhaps they had slipped silently to the dormitories to sleep off their worship. It was time to find a phone and call the police. Man and boy walked down the corridor towards the governor's office, hand in hand. Lacey had fallen silent again, but his expression was no longer so manic. It looked as though cleansing tears might be close. He sniffed, made some noises in his throat. His grip on Redmond's hand tightened, then relaxed completely. Ahead, the vestibule was in darkness. Somebody had smashed the bulb recently. It still rocked gently on its cable, illuminated by a seepage of dull light from the window. Come on. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come on, boy. Lacey bent to Redmond's hand and bit the flesh. The trick was so quick, he let the boy go before he could prevent himself, and Lacey was showing his heels as he scooted away down the corridor, away from the vestibule. No matter, he couldn't get far. For once, Redmond was glad the place had walls and bars. Redmond crossed the dark and vestibule to the secretary's office. Nothing moved. Whoever had broken the bulb was keeping very quiet, very still. The telephone had been smashed too. Not just broken, but smashed to smithereens. Redmond doubled back to the governor's office. There was a telephone there. He'd not be stopped by vandals. The door was locked, of course, but Redmond was prepared for that. He smashed the frosted glass in the window of the door with his elbow, reached through to the other side. No key there. To hell with it, he thought, and put his shoulder to the door. It was sturdy, strong wood, and the lock was good quality. His shoulder ached, and the wound in his stomach had reopened by the time the lock gave, and he gained access to the room. The floor was littered with straw. The smell inside made the sty seem sweet. The governor was lying behind his desk, his heart eaten out. The pig, said Redman. The pig. The pig. And saying, the pig, he reached for the phone. A sound. He turned. and met the blow full face. It broke his cheekbone and nose. The room modded, muddled and went white. The vestibule was no longer dark. Candles were burning. It seemed hundreds of them in every corner, on every edge. But then his head was swimming, his eyesight blurred with concussion. It could have been a single candle multiplied by senses that could no longer be trusted to tell the truth. He stood in the middle of the arena of the vestibule, not quite knowing uh, how he could be standing, for his legs felt numb and useless beneath him. At the periphery of his vision, beyond the light of the candles, he could hear people talking. No, not really talking, they were... They weren't proper words, they were nonsense sounds, made by people who may or may not have been there. Then he heard the grunt, the low, asthmatic grunt of the sow, and straight ahead she emerged from the swimming light of the candles. 
She was bright and beautiful no longer. Her flanks were charred, her beady eyes wa withered, her snout somehow twisted out of true. She hobbled towards him very slowly, and very slowly the figure astride her became apparent. It was Tommy Lacey, of course, naked as the day he was born, his body as pink and as hairless as the one of her pharaoh, his face as innocent of human feeling. His eyes were now her eyes as he guided the sow, great sow, by her ears, and the noise of the sow, the snaffling sound, was not out of the pig's mouth, but out of his. His was the voice of the pig. Redmond said his name. Quietly, not Lacey, but Tommy. The boy seemed not to hear. Only then, as the pig and her rider approached, did Redmond register why he hadn't fallen on his face. There was a rope around his neck. Even as he th thought the thought, the noose tightened, and he was hauled off his feet and into the air. No pain, but a terrible horror. Worse, so much worse than pain, opened in him. A gorge of loss and regret, and all he was sank away into it. Below him, the sow and the boy had come to a halt beneath his jangling feet. The boy, still grunting, had climbed off the pig and was squatting down beside the beast. Through the graying air, Redmond could see the curve of the boy's spine, the flawless skin of his back. He saw, too, the knotted rope that protruded from between his pale buttock and the end frayed. For all the world, like the tail of a pig, the sow put his head up put his head up, though its eyes were beyond seeing. He liked to think that he, she suffered and would suffer now until she died. It was almost sufficient to think that. Then the sow's mouth opened and, he, and she spoke. He wasn't certain how the words came, but they came. A boy's voice, lilting. This is the state of the beast, it said. To eat and be eaten. Then the sow smiled and Redmond felt Though he had believed himself numb, the first shock of pain as Lacey's teeth, Lacey's teeth, bit off a piece from his foot and the boy clamored, snorting, up his savior's body to kiss out his life. Wow. Cool. So the next one is Death's, Sex, Death, and Starshine. I love, love the name. Um... tired yeah let's call it there I think this is a good place to end for the night we've done a good run we've done almost five hours again these these VODs will appear on YouTube here um, been putting them out I think on Wednesdays Wednesday at 12 p.m. over at uh, LM gaming VODs and uh, yeah, you can hear me pretty much th throughout many of them. You can hear me read basically almost like an audiobook the entire thing, 10 minutes at a time at night when I do it. So it's inconsistent, but it's a lot of fun. I'm working on making a, uh, a series of clips of all my deaths so far, considering there, there's been 22 of them. Um, some of them are quite fun, especially my reaction or how it happened. So yeah, I'm gonna put a ticket. I'm gonna get a bunch of those clips. I'm gonna probably post them separately, or I'll just make one big super cut. But that would require some video editing, and I haven't installed any video editing software yet, and that's a whole other bag. But for now, uh, I hope you all take care of yourselves and each other. Have a good night, and yeah, hopefully we'll see you back on. Monday, if not sooner. Bye. <laughs>